Unnecessary. <laughs> Let me start off with two words. Made in America. Made in America. Sweet. <laughs> this music playing. <line. laughs> What's up, guys? We are back, and we are in the studio with Wesley Rice. Hey, it's been a while yes. since Wes has been here. It has been a while, actually. Probably last, no, a little after last Christmas, right? Or was it before last Who the hell knows? I don't even know. Because I remember... Um, the first Rick- two weren't that far apart. No. no but it's been no. a long time since <laughs> yeah, I've been yeah. here. Oh, the crisis. Christ. I actually went back to watch, I think it was episode three. And he, that he was on. Oh, it's wow. a good, it is a good one. We talked about some deep stuff. Did we? Oh, yeah. I was drunk. Oh, yeah. Dude, and that was when the camera was like just panning hard the yeah. whole time. <laughs> it was just Bane going like this back and forth. So someone would start talking. He's just like, you know, you know. But anyways. I miss Bane. I know. Uh, we're going to get him back. I want him to take some time, dude. I've texted him a couple times. Yeah. I've, I just went over to his. Uh, dude, it looks good, doesn't it? It looks awesome. He He's, did a great job. He is. That's what I'm saying. He needs time. He, he is ultra motivated and the shit is awesome. Yes, it looks great. But that's. That's what a lot of the first time I was on. That's what yeah, a lot about my dad, Jake's mom. Yep. Oh, yeah, and we talked about Bane a little bit with his dad when he because he was sick at the time. Yep, and um, man, huh. that it got touchy feely at the end there. It was good. Um, anyways, moving <laughs> on. Patrons, Wesley, you want to read off the patrons? Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. I want to give a big shout out to all the patrons out there. Uh huh. Uh-huh. We are going to start from the uh, the Big Heart Crew. Okay. We've got Brandon Kennedy. Hmm. Our newest patron. Hell yeah. Let's go. We've got Ruth Gebhardt. Ruthie. Bob Ruth. Black. Bob Black. Lori oh. Birch. Hi, Mom. Katie Gates. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. Lori's ahead. actually, see, you see what I mean? How it's in the $5 crew? Lori's actually. Oh, oh I'm sorry. You're right. She, uh, okay, skip that one. Because she accidentally bought it. Um, She's going to get two shout out. Yep, she is. Katie Gates. Katie Gates. She's still, still here. here. That's I love right. you. James Palmer. James Palmer. Talk, I talked to James today. Drew Woodburn. Goods. <laughs> Pukey. Ben Kiskel. <laughs> Benny. Jesus. Amanda Miller. Amanda pulling up the Miller. rear of the big thick hearts group. Let's <laughs> go. Oh, yeah, watch it, buddy. Jesus. <laughs> like, watch By the way, it. Amanda, your hair looked great in that picture today. It looked super great. Looked yep. Really good. Uh, we've got the Y'all Aggressive With It crew. Yep. Yep. We got Matt Norvell is probably our uh, P1 of uh, P1. Oh, if we have any P1ers, it is Matt. That is Matt. <laughs> yep. Then we've got Brian Whittington. Brian Whittington. Oh, you know what? Throw Brian in there, too. Kill, holding it down in Myrtle Beach. Dude, killing it. Killing it. Then we got the top dogs. The top dogs. We got the dogs. Calvary tier. God's amongst us. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. Starting with Joe Lockman. Let's go, The man. mayor of California. <laughs> Joe Jackson Lockman. Miller. Jackson oh, Miller. He's got money to spare. Adam Holmes. Adam Holmes. He doesn't. <laughs> Going back to Lori with her $15 a month. That's my mom. And then... The man, the myth himself, standing in the studio, Wes Rice. Hey, Wes Rice, hey. the man. That's all you gotta do. Is you just gotta be Calvary tier for like I know. <laughs> over a year, and then you get to come on the show. <laughs> it's, I, you know what? That might be a fucking thing we do. And Rick needs to come on the show because he paid uh, for a year, and it was awesome. It helped. I mean, it helps with everything. Oh, he's gone. Everything we have in here. Is he gone? Yeah, he, he's gone, and it's okay. Oh. You know, people need to take breaks. Hey, take breaks. Not mad. Not mad. Not mad. Just come back, though. Come back. I want Steve back. Guy back, though. I like that guy. Oh, he's gone. He is gone. Yeah. It's okay. Well, here, Dude, it's Christmas this, time, bro. This is from Steve Guy. Oh, all right. Steve really? bought me this when I left <laughs> oh, when I left it. the job that we worked at together. Uh, so it's the so. it's the Whistle Pig piggyback. Give me that. 100% rye. Hopefully it's better six than the other one. Aged six yeah, years. Hopefully it's better than that Barstool bullshit. So the other one y'all had last week from Barstool. Barstool. Bustin', uh, Bustin' with the boys has a deal with him. Uh, Funny, fu- dude. I love Taylor Lewan, but that whiskey sucks. I, dude, those guys are such good talkers too. The dude, uh, the main guy, um, dude, Will Compton. Will Compton. Yeah, he's a the, beast. the one where he farted in the. Yeah, I know you saw that. <laughs> yeah, it was hilarious, <laughs> dude. Uh, my favorite was like him geeking so hard about it because he was holding oh, it, boy. like trying to wait on it. Yeah, it was. It was. It was money. What's up? Now that is good. It's almost minty. Dude, try that. Holy shit, that's good. It's good. I was trying that COVID right before Christmas. Boy. He ain't going to Costa Rica. Shut up. I only said that for him. Dude. Oh, I'm flying out tomorrow, and and it's supposed to be sketch as hell. That'll that'll kill the COVID. Where are you going to? South Carolina, an hour away. Oh. It's supposed to be a sketchy fucking flight tomorrow. Like, we're going to see. Because it rained. It rained all day. Like, all day. Up here, it's supposed to be like 60 degrees tomorrow. And and, fucking stupid. No. It's super windy. It's funny. It's gonna get freezing by nighttime, by evening, nighttime. Dude, you it's know, it's get not below. a sketchy flight. That GMC Sierra. <laughs> <laughs> Is it like six hours? Uh, what? <laughs> oh no, 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 I know, I know, yeah, no, it's eight. Hey, wait to finally <laughs> pick that up. What he was talking I, about? I missed it, dude. I missed him in my headphones. I need a little louder. My headphones. 
Can I get a little more Wes? Yeah, which number are you? No, I'm just kidding. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jay-Z. You know, I was listening to Jay-Z on the way over here. I forgot how good he is, man. He's I really good. He played Tupac the other day. Yeah. Is that the role old Tupac? Yep. Yep, and you know what else? Keep I like? your head. That, that is great. That is good. That's really good. Um, I was listening to uh, uh, Pharrell, and he had an album that was real like punky, but, but yes. hip hop. When he was like, it's a bang, banger bang, album, bang, dude. Bang, 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 bang. That one. When he was in NERD. No, not NERD. It's That's a, what I was thinking of NERD. No, it's so a, good. it's a more recent bow, one. Bow, 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 it's, uh, it's you're not a, a whiskey drinker, are you? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, he's a tequila guy though. He had a blast on that video we posted um, for the patrons, but it's that gonna be dude. That was a great party. We had a good time. It was a good time. It was a good time. I had to do that every year. Uh, I did notice, though. I, I was like, man, I, I am kind of picking on Wes a little hard. On the video. Yeah. Yeah. That's because he showed up a little bit later, and I was already half drunk. I'm yeah. sorry, Wes. And Wes, I and also because you were jealous of that jacket. A little bit. <laughs> I said, exactly. I said I said I was. Right. I said I was. The thing was, it would start to get good, and I would just start filming, and and people just go on for the camera sometimes, you mm-hmm. know. And you guys kind of just go going at well, it. A you little know, bit. I'm a whore for the camera. Yeah, so. and, and this guy puts a drink on a seat, oh, a yeah, clear f- glass with clear tequila on a seat, <laughs> and I come over next to sit next to him, and he still doesn't grab it. And I then still, I'm going to sit down. He still doesn't know, grab dude, it. I no. still when no. I was just sitting down, I look at the seat though. And then I sit down. No, while you're sitting down, I'm like no, 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 no. And you still keep going, like I'm doing it anyways. Could you imagine seeing like, someone come over and like they're about to sit down? And you just they just sit on your drink somehow. No one's <laughs> sitting somehow. on my drink. That's impossible. Who, who doesn't look where they're sitting? Who has their drink in a seat? Who doesn't look where they're sitting? <laughs> like I always look at my seat when I sit down. What if somebody was sitting in the chair? You wouldn't care. You just sit right on them. That's so stupid. I'm That's not even going to address it. Yeah, that, that was I'm dumb. not going to address it. Wes. You've had a little too much to drink tonight. You're a little high noon, fucking 2% over there. Three, you guys think because I've had three sips of anything, I'm drunk. Well, you looked a little red-faced no, the other night. I was red-faced because I was pissed off the entire hey, what'd time. what'd you think about that intro? Why were you so salty the entire, the entire time? Because you were, you were just, mad. So here's, the, here, so here's the honest truth. You didn't right? like the interview outside? No. Here's the honest truth. Okay. Show up to a party. Yep. Bryn starts shitting on me. Which is fine, right? I don't really care. We always pick but on each other. But here's the thing. We here's always pick thing. on each other. I've never met your girlfriend before. Yeah. You didn't even introduce me to her. And I'm like, I'm not going to start shitting <laughs> on Brent. Remember. I'm not going to start shitting on Brent in I front of his... I thought everybody had met her at that yeah. point. I'm not going to shit on Brent in front of his girlfriend who I've never met. I just feel like that's really disrespectful. Uh, or uh, you're taking the high road. Uh, no, I'm uh, taking the high road. Okay, if you were to come to my house and make fun I'm of me... I'm scared of your no, wife, though, because I think your wife only likes me half the time. If you were to come to my house and make fun of me in front of my own wife, Lauren Blake... Huh. Yeah, no, we weren't, but we weren't at, we weren't know, at your house. house. Or, listen or to what I'm house. saying. Listen let, to let what let I'm saying. Finish. All right, then. Let, let's right, let's see. We were over here. Goes. Yeah. And like Lauren was, I'm just hanging out with my wife, and you like just start making fun of her husband. Like, it'd just be, it's kind of disrespectful. I understand right? what you're saying. But on one hand, I'm saying you, I wasn't, I didn't want to be disrespectful, so I didn't. No, and I appreciate yeah. that. Thank you. But we always shit on each other. Yeah, but I just, you know. It was just light ribbing. We weren't fucking. I mean, you did draw out the part where Brett said he was getting in shape and Jake. Looked yeah, over at you. you. That you was all Jake. That, that, you that was all Jake. That was all Jake. Jake gave Wes a look when, uh, dude, I burned. Yeah, uh, yeah. And also, you cannot show up in public wearing what you were wearing, expecting nobody to say no. a word. No, a word's you, fine. You was, were, dude, two words are fine. Dude, you wore, no, Three you looked great, but you, you wore that to be ironic and funny, and you wanted people four to show up. five words are fine. Okay, that's what you got. That's but bullshit, you, because Wes always does wear, like, colorful... He's, he's died it down a little bit since he's been well, coming because here. Of, that's, because because winter, that's because it's wintertime. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in the summer, how it's, long, how it's long all the Wes is a dresser, man. Yes. Wes, yes. Is, Wes is clean with it. But Wes he, went to a black man's store and bought black man clothes. Again, I don't even care about that. I don't. It was just but like... you did. It was hard you for me. You velvet shoes. It, it was hard for me because I couldn't say anything back to you. And I was like, oh, I'm just going to... I'm just going to... I want to be you cordial. Allowed, dude, no, no, no. I didn't want to. A bit disrespectful my, in front of your girlfriend. My girlfriend is a 40-year-old woman who makes fun of me more than care. anybody I in this room. We just... Me personally, I just thought it'd be disrespectful. Okay. So I'm never going to go hard on Wes in front of Jamie. Never going to go hard on Mike Dude, Jamie can bench press us all. She's fine. Yeah, she'd kick your ass. Yeah, Anyways. I'm scared of her too. I don't think she likes like, me. This, this, this affected him it, because I was just like, I can't do anything. But, like, and that's my, it's my own, it's my own. I, I, I understand that. What's I appreciate what you're saying. But next time, let her rip. Tangent. I know, but it's my own thing where I'm just like, you know what? I, you know, in social atmospheres. Well, the problem is you didn't introduce, you just started shit. I thought you, that's I thought you already met her, dude. I know, but that, everybody not, else had. I can understand that. Like, I get it, I get I it. I have no idea who she met, but I know I met her like twice. We've been together for almost a year. I, I, I just assumed. I would have yeah. introduced you guys. I would have. I, I know. It was just, it was really <laughs> just a, 
it was just really like, uh, uh, you know. And God, then I, shut up the about first it time, it's like the first time Lauren met anybody. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. And she's like, that dude's a dick because he keeps making fun of my boyfriend, blah, blah, blah. So I was like, I didn't no. want to have that moment. I didn't want to have that moment. No. So I was dude, like, you she know. does that. She shit. knows you're a dick without it. It's fine. Wes is like, I'm always in the hole now <laughs> in this competition. Yeah, 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 I'm behind. Yeah. You are. You got to go hard. Just start pranking. <laughs> what I said was true. I am 100% scared of Lauren. That's something about her scares the shit but out to of me. Be, but also back to that a little bit. I do have a tendency when other people are around yeah. you to, to pull it in a little bit you only because I feel like they're going to think it's serious. Right? It's also about with your job. You're kind of used to like kind of well, you're representing yourself a little better. Too, yeah. Yeah. I don't like to also make like it's kind of like, you know, when you're a kid, right? Uh, you can make fun of your brothers and your family. But like if anybody else does and you're around, like they'll, they'll take it like, oh, these guys are assholes. Like, no, it's, I'm with my boys. Everybody right? was laughing. Right. If I'm with my boys, I'm with my boys. Right. But if I'm in a room full of like people I don't know, I'm like, all right, I'm going to leave well, my boys alone. Maybe it's because a I'm bit. a little comfortable about because I knew everybody there yeah. very well. Yeah. So maybe I'm a little bit more comfortable. Bro, when maybe. they were going back and forth, I was watching and like, I filmed most of it, but like they started fighting again, and Wes was kind of like in the house doorway, and everybody else was outside. Like it was so funny at one point where like people asked, they're like, Wes. Come outside a little more. We can't hear you. <laughs> you know that, that whole brother thing. Yeah. Like yeah. when when the beans were playing all the time. Yeah. That was our thing with Kenny. It's like we could make all we could make all, all the black the, jokes. Yeah, with yeah, Kenny. Yeah, 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 yeah. But somebody Same. else said it was like what? Yeah. 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 Fuck like, you. What? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. We used to do that too with CYB. And then one time, it, someone did not get away with it. It was a problem. I'm not even gonna say what happened, but. It. it was rough. They stomped a mud hole in him and walked it no. dry. It used to be it used to be kind of okay to say the A. Oh, the, the hard, the, the uh, soft A, but the soft A. It used to be kind of okay. Like, it was yeah. just funny, like, with your boys. It was never okay, bro. No, with, with Kenny and stuff, we used to always oh, say it to each other. Yeah, 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 it yeah. was a band thing. Yeah. And then one time, when you're in the garage, one time it slipped, fun. like, out, yeah. like, playing, and it became an issue quick. And, uh. Who did initials? Who did it? No, 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 no. Nobody in the band. Yeah, no, nah, it was just someone, it was just a traveler. And, uh, it, but it became an issue, like, real quick. There was, like, a, a, a mob. Speaking of traveler, anybody want to go with us to Raleigh next Friday? Come on down. Get yep. in the van. Oh, you playing a show? Yeah, we have a show in Raleigh. That's right. Where's that? It'll be in the South Coast. A, a fucking yeah, record store that turns into a venue at night. Like That's too damn far away. Huh? Like ABC? Well, we rented a 15-passenger van, so anybody want to ride with us, come on with it. We're coming back that night. <laughs> so, uh, we have a show in Raleigh and a show in Baltimore, and we're going to record in between. So This is a Christmas episode. Merry and, Christmas, fellas. And uh, I guess... Merry Christmas. Do you guys Merry remember, Christmas. like, like you got to say what comes to your mind, I guess, first. All right. But favorite, like, childhood Christmas present? Oh, yeah. I, I remember the best Christmas. Like, it should pop in your head immediately, right? I remember the best Christmas right, of my go, life. Go ahead. Because... No, no, not the best Christmas of your life. I just want to know the best gift. Best gift. I'm going to get to that. Right. Is basically okay. what I'm saying. I was the first one of all of my friends to have a TV in the room, and I thought that shit was oh. fire. And it was, you know, it was just one of the bubble TVs, but it was kind of big, mm -hmm. and it fit perfectly in the entertainment center, yeah. center that I had in my room. Probably like a 17 I, I inch. I was like, yeah, yeah. Dude, I was like eight or nine, but yeah. that month, I was... I was king dingling with that TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I remember unwrapping that. That was all I like. That Christmas ruled. Yeah, West just yeah, went on after, Google after midnight on Friday. Yeah, no, you could see a, a Shannon Tweed titty. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> Dude, that squiggly on six. Ooh, was go that ahead, a titty or a cock? I don't know. I didn't. Remember, I couldn't remember if it was called a talk boy or a talk bat. Oh, oh, I was a talk boy. The, the, the yeah, little mic from from, from, from home alone. From Callister. Yeah. yeah. Like you couldn't got, believe you got it. I got one of those for Christmas. Oh, dude, you're it was cooking, the most Frankie. Amazing <laughs> it, was, it, it definitely wasn't as good as the movie made it seem. Oh no, they were trash. But for like you know what the nine year old me, it was great. Yeah, it was great. Oh yeah, that's a good one. What are you stressing about? I'm just looking at these audio levels. Just I was peeking. Am I peeking? Yeah, a little bit. Sorry, I'm yelling. I'm definitely, a good time. definitely in my ears. I think he's on number two. Which is weird. Number two shows it's pretty low. Nope, number three. Number uh, three. Pull, uh, pull back uh, number three real quick. Pull back number three just uh, a little. Sorry. Very little. Yeah, it, it's fine. But I couldn't even, like, I literally couldn't hear him at all when he was talking. You sometimes didn't hear him. But yeah, whatever. It's my fault. My fault. Uh, what did you say, though? The, the, after, the, boy. after the talk boy thing. <laughs> I literally couldn't hear a thing. <laughs> he said kind of He was, like, talking I right said at the time it wasn't as good as the, as the movie made it seem to him. Yeah, the movie made it seem like oh, crystal yeah. clear and loud. Yeah, but as yeah. like a nine or a ten year old kid, you're like, this is amazing. Yeah, you know, get out of here, you little pervert. Yeah, you, thought, you thought you could actually put it like in the shower, and people would think it was yeah. really inside there. Wes, right. Wes, do you remember? <laughs> or when he used it on the phone and slowed it down? Yeah, I'd like a sweet <laughs> windows. <laughs> <those refrigerators>. Okay, <laughs> real, real quick. Yeah. yeah, like that always pissed me off about that movie. How he would just correct the TV, like someone couldn't tell that was the TV. Right, <laughs> he Bro, like speakers get out of here. And you I watched the one the night. He had. Giant like Sony speakers hooked to like the kitchen yep. TV yep. VCR combo that was in there. Was no like, way he gets that level right of somebody's voice. <laughs> snakes. No way. Snakes. I, I don't know no snakes. Yeah. It was stupid. Anyways. A
AC's not in charge no more. Unreasonable. <laughs> I mean, they got to an unreasonable level of anger when he spilled all that soda and, and pizza, right? Or no? Oh, no. Oh, was that, yeah. Was that, an, uh, uh, that's, was that okay level of anger everyone had on him? Go to your room, you little I, brat. I forgot. <laughs> yeah, the uncle? Yeah. Like, what the hell? <laughs> yeah. was that, I forgot how big of a piece of shit, though, he was as an eight-year-old. Oh, like, he, he, needed, he needed a good one of these. He sucked. You know, he just spent all day beating off. But anyways. Buzz, what's your girlfriend. Wolf. <laughs> I want that shirt. I like that shirt. Right, Wes, the, Wes, Wes. Uh, I, I got a bike. That a bike. It was called the Sonic 6. Yep. Probably it had, your mind. It had a, so it had a gear six. shift like what? on the inside of the handlebars. Ooh. For what? A little like, yeah, a gear it shift. Like, it was oh, a gear shit. shift. That's it was rad. Yeah, yeah, that is rad. I got a mongoose one. Christmas. I got that laser tag shit. Um... The chest thing, oh, that those old, were so it was like a gray tight. looking yes. gun, right? It yes. looked like a futuristic gun. I got that one. Do time. you guys remember the hovercraft hockey? Ooh, where the no. puck was a giant hovercraft, and you hit it, and it would it would you literally hover it on like tile. Oh, that's silly. It broke instantly. That's pretty silly. Uh, it was tight though. Any gaming system. I remember PlayStation oh, yeah. One. Oh, I got yeah. I got PlayStation One, and it was just like. They put it in like a different case, mm-hmm. of course. And I was like, oh, cool. And then they opened up again. Like, such an asshole. Like, when you think back, <laughs> like, if my kid does what I did when I was opening presents, I might slap the, yeah, like, I might slap yeah. him. Like, bitch, that cost money. That was like an hour of work. <laughs> <laughs> that was an hour of my time working. That, that happened one time to me. Like, my, my mom, like, loves holidays. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 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 Valentine's Day, Easter. They made me an Easter basket one year, and I had a Game Boy. Yeah. But, like... The Game Gear had just came out, mm. like the color Sega joint, and my mom got me a case that was either for Game Gear or Game Boy. Duh. But I looked at the box and I thought I thought it was a Game like Gear, like the actual. And I opened it. And I went, "What an asshole!" Oh, and she what was, an asshole! Oh, dude, I was I felt <laughs> she so bad. Ass. No, no, no. But Come I felt on. so bad because I was like fuck is this? I thought it was a Game Gear. <laughs> it's just a case for the Game Boy. That you already have. <laughs> that I already have. Uh, I, I, I was pissed. I remember one time, uh, this Wait, is, this God, is, white kids are the worst. Dude, this one time, I would have kicked my ass out of that house. Like, we, we were all sitting around in a circle, all the kids opening presents and stuff, and I keep skipping the one from my grandma. And my mom's like, open the one from grandma. And I totally get it, right? Your grandma got you something. Open that one. And I was like, it's just books. <laughs> Boy, I would have. And my mom did kind of like grab me by the you back and call that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> my, my mom grabbed me by the car. She come in my ear. I don't even remember what she said, but it was like gnashing of teeth and just loud. And, uh, are you here about her? and I was like, okay, okay. You're going to read every one of them. And I opened it bitch. up and it wasn't books. I was like, of course. <laughs> Dude, my, <laughs> like, See? my grandma was the worst gift giver, so I don't really care about that. Grandma's aren't great at Speaking gifts. Speaking of horrible gifts, my dad just sent me a gift for Christmas. Yeah. He's never going to watch this. That's fine. Uh, it was a bathrobe. Dude, uh, no, that's that's awesome. I don't know. It was a $100 bathrobe. I'd rather have $100. Give no, me $100. No. What? Dude, you don't have towel time? No. I love towel time. Like, I, I'll walk around my house for like a half hour once I get out of the okay, shower. Call a couple me. things. First one. of all, what is towel time? Yeah. Towel time. <laughs> yeah. I cool down out of the hot shower, just walk around, <laughs> log back on to work. Get your fucking foot so, out of my rug. A <laughs> couple <laughs> things to remember, Brent. I, I, have, only I, keep I, I have a house <laughs> of two teenage daughters and a 10-year-old. Me just sitting around in a towel. My, You're right. Me, like... Also, even a bathrobe. No, nah, like, dude, robes rule. Yeah. Uh, that's a good gift. Well, you know what? Like, if you're uh, on vacation, you, want sure. it, you can have it. Yeah, <laughs> I gotta do, actually. Save that re gift. <laughs> I definitely yeah. told the story already, but I did come downstairs one time in I a row. I'll take it. I'm being And I sat serious. on the couch next to Amanda, and I put my arm up on the thing, and I look over at her, and she, like, looks at me, and I was like, eh, it's a one time thing. <laughs> and I just was like, no, I'm not doing it. It looks so weird. weird. My chest was out. It? it looked ridiculous. <laughs> no, nah, dude, I love towel time. Towel I was like, out of all this. hates towel time, but I love towel time. You ever think about that? How, like, we're at an age when we were younger. And we looked at us. It was just I don't know. We could have been a lot of types of per- people, yeah. and we just turned out like this. Like I could have been the robe guy <laughs> you easily, been. and I could have loved it. But I, I could have I could have wore it all the time, guy, dude. I love this. I shit. could have wore gold chains with like your West chest out. Guy. Nah, because nah. you shave your you shave everything. So I mean, you might have this clean, you know, you look. Your chest? Not well, not right now. Not right now. <laughs> In the summer, yeah. I shave, my, I, I shave my back. I shave my chest. My shit looks like ass. I have a hairy ass back. Shave this shit is gross. Yeah, dude, the back is rough, bro. I'm like, I don't, I don't, I don't know how, I don't know how it happened to me. Nobody I just have little patches. Wanna, no, I have a sweater. Oh, that's disgusting. I have to, I have to shave it with that stick oh, with yeah. the razor on it. You, and I feel so much better. Oh, it feels great. Because I go get like mas- massages sometimes. Oh yeah, and I, I, know, I, once I a month. If you have hair back there, you're like laying there like super self conscious. Especially with like an attractive like, girl oh, you went to high school with. So gross. <laughs> oh, stop. I'm sorry. Yeah. No. no. Attractive girl. You put shaving cream well, on your back? No. It's just, no. It's a. It's just a thing. Have you, you done dry that? shave? Is that what you're talking about? What? 
It's a drive chain? Doesn't that give you like razor bumps? No, not on your back. It's oh, a different kind of skin. It says it's the, uh, the back blade. Yeah, it's called the back blade. It's I think I told you, you to get it. You do it in the shower. Yeah, yeah do it in the shower. Just, oh, so it's not dry, really. But right. It isn't, but it is. there's, there's no shaving cream involved. It's scary as hell. Yeah, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, it's a big razor on your back. You uh, use it? It's, it's no. like, I have the back blade 2.0. It is actually three blades. It's just. The 3.0. Yeah. This guy's out of control. I, I know, but my masseuse went to high school. I with, don't so. know, uh, but yeah, I had one of those. Yeah. And it, but once the blades get dull, like, oh, I, I never you, ordered you more blades. It, yeah. You use it like twice. You ever had any they're, blade accidents? Like yeah. any blade? I filleted. I filleted my shoulder Filet. the first time I used yeah. it. Disgusting. The back blade. Those things come out. They're like they're serious. Yep. I Would you go sideways? Was, no, I was going too fast, and oh, it caught my shoulder blade. I could have used probably a stitch or two. Shut up! Are you uh, serious? No, I'm being dead. It was ble- it ah! sliced, ah! It sliced, it sliced right through my uh my, one of my tattoos. Yeah. Son of a bitch! Yeah, dude. Oh! <laughs> so that's that's why I shave my chest. It's I just, I just it, use like my the whole my thing is for my chest, but but yeah. it makes your chest look better too. You don't look as fat. Well, I, think, I feel like my no, chest. No. Is <laughs> I think for me, I mean, I'm like if you if fat. you have a tattoo like and then the hair grows out, it looks bad. It just looks yeah. Oh, it looks like you're. Normally, my, I shave my, my arms my, too. I'm not. My Mike Miller. Well, I don't have to. I don't have very hairy arms, but my Mike Miller lyrics on my chest need to be seen. God damn it! Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Damn it! I can't believe I did that. Uh, Wide awake and dreaming. That's a great line. It's a great line, and it's on my chest forever. Yeah, man. And Wide we awake li- and dreaming. We were living together. We were in our twenties. I was like, look yep. what I did. Yeah. Cool, bro. I was like, hey, I'm one you, of the bros. Did you tell me you were going to do that before you got nope. it done? No. I just saw him one day and he had it. I love that song. I was like, it's, still, it's still one of my favorite songs that he's ever I don't ever remember written. how it goes, but it, it, yeah, it was I good. I can't wait. Think uh, can't wait till things go my way. Yeah, yeah, it's a good song. Yeah, Wes way. is gonna get one of my lyrics on his chest. Bum, ba, da, ba, da, bum, bum. What's that? The it's one about Mike Beach. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's a I want, that's the one I'm gonna do because I I'm gonna do one of Wes's I songs. I've been trying to decide. The party tattooed on his neck. <laughs> and, uh, I've been trying to decide which one I think Life no of the Party regrets. might be it though Life of the Party's up there and then um well oh, Randall the, the, Randall already did Life of the Party did he hold on Randall yeah. has hold on. My guitar player has your lyrics tattooed on him? No, 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 no. no. If you Randall, were listening, Randall made a, a pop punk version we, of we, Life of the Party. Yeah. I just haven't gone over there and cut the vocals for so, it. So, oh shit, I didn't know y'all were doing that. So, Red. um, for 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 the redo we, that Hardy one that I fucked up. We had a um a contest for sharing our video with the this Christmas pleasure, and oh, Wes won by like a mile. Yeah, and so he was like, "Keep the fifty bucks, just like uh, cover one of my songs." And I was like, "Okay." So That's I've been thinking about which one. I just haven't had time, but I think it's gonna be, I think it's gonna be that one, "Life of the Party." That one's fun. See, I thought you would. I had a feeling you would pick "Whiskey Rock and Roller." Actually, that's the other one I was thinking of, but I, bum, 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 that one would be easier bum, bum, to make. Bum. I think. No, I was just doing Hall of Notes. It depends. <laughs> <on> because- <laughs> oh, whiskey rock and roll. It's a bitch girl. But it's gone oh, too far. Shit. Mash them up. Mash them up. That's a great idea. There you go. That's actually a great idea. All right, anyways, done. Moving on. Uh, pick one year. That's why I told you to shut up. Yeah, I got you. Uh, pick one year to go back for a good Christmas. Like you could go back, and you'll you'll still have all your memories now. You're you're using your brain now, and you're going back to a childhood or whatever Christmas. W- what year? Uh, what's the stage? Go ahead. Uh, anybody? It could, anyone? Uh, okay, 2013. Go ahead. 2013. Uh, yeah, my kids were 13, eight, and three. Oh, it's that's adorable. It's like all three of them are still all in it. Yep. Yeah. Dude, it doesn't like you yeah. get the full spectrum of. I can't wait to like, watch three the kids and open like presents. everything was the biggest gift ever. Yep. <laughs> everything was perfect. <laughs> Carly, happy. Carly like still had toys that she was really into and yeah. wanted. Polly Des- pockets and shit. Yeah. And, uh, <laughs> I think um, I don't know what desk got that year, but but she Come was still the, like uh, drum into set. getting cool stuff. Go and get the drum set that year. No, nah, he was four. <laughs> what, what, hold on, hold on. Red Robin. Or no, Robin. Yum. What's, uh, the, what's the, the Red Bird song? Red Bird. Yeah. He had a song where he made it up on the drums. I still think, I think it's hilarious. I love it. <laughs> that's like, I, I knew that I, when I was watching it, I was like, that's a good moment. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. To, to where like Felix was listening to um, the Christmas Pleasure song on the way home today and was singing it, dog. <laughs> I mean, he was singing it. That was amazing to me. Didn't really get into it. Too busy driving and like singing with him, but it's like it should have been like one of those moments. But yeah. it was. That's the first song he's, of mine that he's ever sang along to, or yeah. asked for. So it's a it's a pretty dope feeling. That is, that's that why is, that is the drum tight. feeling. I, I I get it now. Like it's just like cool shit happens. But Wes, Man, I want kids you to be into shit that I'm doing. God damn it! They will. <laughs> At this point in my life, I'm gonna be selfish and go back to when I was in third grade <laughs> and my GI Joe 
pajamas. Yep. I mean, they're like, Jose. They're like yep. camouflage. Yep. <laughs> I got a, uh, a Batman. That's like, funny. Remember those things when you were kids and you had like the figures out climbed to like, so I had a yep. bat cave. I got like a bat cave. Oh, yeah. damn. Like grappling hook type shit. Yeah. But dude, you got, your, right. you got your brain so now. So I could climb the wall. You got your brain. <laughs> you, you got your brain now though. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> You're going back with your brain now to go play bat, with Batman? Get the bat boat to cost the Rio Grande. <laughs> in an adult sucks. You can, play, you can play so much better with a brain now, you know? So I also, funny. I thought about it. Dude, it would be so lame. Had. You would be like, this toy <laughs> sucks. <laughs> <laughs> Brett, you might have had this gift as a kid. I'm going back to this one. What's that? Did you ever have the wrestling thing with the metal things on their feet and they walk through the thing and play their theme song? No, but that's rad. <laughs> Dude, <it was> like, <laughs> I had the ring that had the sound effects button <laughs> where they punches and kicks and shit like, <laughs> it, had the, it, had the, it, it was the entrance stage and you'd walk through like, you walk through like Shawn Michaels. Oh, the sexy I'm boys would come I'm just a sexy boy. Oh, man. It was I, amazing. So that's how that fast camera. technology moves. Right. I'm, a, I'm five years older than y'all. Yeah. yeah. Four or five. Maybe like four. Like, when I was getting wrestling figures, like the ring I got was just straight up plastic. Yeah. There wasn't no technology to it. Rock'em, sock'em. Oh, that was kind of like that. Yeah, it's like, just, it's like a piece of shit plastic. Thing. Yep. Yeah. Rock'em, sock'em was fun. Well, yep. I, I just bought it one time. I was like, let's play. Yeah. Played it like one time and sat there and we're just ashing I got that here. for Christmas. I you know. got it for Christmas? I think I got my Maybe. Mom got Maybe that's what it is. If I Rock'em, back, sock'em for like nine, ten year olds is equivalent to hungry, hungry hippos. But do you know with rules? With fighting video games now, though, one on one, like Rock'em, sock'em. I know some kids who are getting hungry, hungry hippos this year. What did that mean? That means Vinny's gonna shoot that bitch on Christmas oh Day. God. <laughs> <laughs> They're gonna slap the shit in balls. Go do it! Go do it! Go do it! Stupid toys! <laughs> That's funny as shit. All right, sorry, I don't want to hijack that. Go back to your Christmas year. What did you hijack? I went back to presents. Supposed to be on the Christmas year. No, you, but that was, was part of your story. That was yeah, what we were going yeah, back. Yeah. back. <laughs> oh, <laughs> did you just mess oh, up? No, Is that what it was? Back. Just keep going. Oh, he's <laughs> trying to cover up his dumb answer here. <laughs> he's like, he's, 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 it's not a dumb answer, but you're using your brain to go back and play with Batman in his Batcave. Yeah. You can't even jerk <laughs> off yet. <laughs> but hold on Don't derail the really, jerk off really, I'm sorry I'm Really sorry. think about that I'm sorry It was simpler That's times why I picked the TV. It was simpler times So you didn't have to think about jerking off You're right When you didn't think about Girls, girls and everything. stuff like that Like you oh, just be a little everything. kid And just like yeah, I'm having fun with things I hate yeah. boners <laughs> Yeah Hey turn four up um, It's you Turn four up Yep Just push it up If I could pretty low If I could pick a year to go back It would It has nothing to do with presents But any anywhere between the ages of like ten and thirteen for me, so I got to like wake up. Uh, this was like the cool part of coming from a broken home, but everybody was still local. Jeez. Like, oh, no, listen, listen, listen. No, 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 no. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not derailing the conversation. Go at back all. to my broken. No, no, no. no I'm, listen, kidding, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. So I would Two wake Christmases. up. <laughs> listen, that's what you know what's it was. funny? Feel, sorry, sorry. I have to say it. I have to say because of what he said. Every what, fucking time I open my mouth. The, the, dude, cry about it, Wes. I'm crying. Look, uh, sorry. We asked Phyllis what he wants for Christmas. Brent, I, I, it would be so quick. I know. It was a joke. <laughs> we asked Phyllis what he wants for Christmas. He said he wants two Christmases. Broken home. It's funny. Sorry. Go <laughs> back. All right. That's pretty funny. Yeah, I know. So, like, I would wake up at mom's, have Christmas, and, like, breakfast with them, right? It was awesome. My dad would pick me up. We'd go to my mama's, and, like, you know, we'd do presents over there. But I miss the giant family Christmas dinner the most out of anything. Your aunts, your uncles, your cousins. One big giant table. Yep. All the food. Yeah. That's what I miss the most, like all that. And then, but nobody does this shit anymore. Nobody does yeah, this shit anymore. For sure. Two, two o'clock dinner with yeah. six o'clock seconds. Exactly, bro. And you're, thank there, you. There was shit we were, I loved that shit. There was shit we were doing. So I would drive up to New Jersey and be with all my hey. Tr Trinidadian family, Venezuelan family. And, uh, We'd go up there, and we were at a perfect age where we were young. We didn't know that our parents were drinking, uh, and they were just, you know, lit up, having a great time. We were having a great time with them because we're just kids, oh, acting like yeah. idiots, and we would do little conga lines around the entire house. We would, it would be, the music was blasting. The, the thing was, dude, and you would not believe it. Lit up again. <laughs> you would not believe it, but they, they would, like, loved prime country. Oh yeah, Venezuelan, like Spanish people loved dude. it. Oh yeah, they would they would jam it so much. That's why I knew it anyways at the time. Like it was, it was all from them. Dude, you put doom, 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 over I anything. Know. I'm listening to it. <laughs> yeah. But that's the thing. Yeah, we had steel drums and stuff. All that music was on, and I would go back to that time for sure. It was just all dancing, running around, having what, a blast. Wes said it right though. Two o'clock dinner, six o'clock seconds, bro. That's the shit. That that's the, how Thanksgiving should be. Oh. Not Christmas, and, Thanksgiving. And, and, and Christmas. And we, I, yeah, yeah. and we have Christmas Day and Christmas Eve football. Mm -hmm. Boy, we are fucking living large this week. Mm -hmm. so, 
Well, Christmas traditions was one of the things I wrote down to talk about. Okay, tonight. perfect. Yeah. And so for like Mo and I, we would all go to our grandparents' house. Mm -hmm. Same thing. Mm -hmm. It was like 30 of us. Yeah, man. And I mean, it's just a rambler, three, but everybody four, fit four in, bedroom in rambler. Kids crammed table? in. The, yeah. Yeah, dude. That shit and ruled. So like all the presents went under the tree. Mm hmm. A little notepad went around. Everybody guessed how many presents. And then they all got counted up. Whoever was closest or got it right, they went got first. another present. Oh, shit. Oh, nice. And then there was uh, whoever, when they were handing presents out, whoever was the last one to get a present, they got another present. Mm. Like, my grandmother always had, like, bonus like, little gifts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then my dad was always the best at, he would just come up with some random joke gift. And it would be from Santa. That's funny, dude. Someone that's good at that shit. Yeah. But he would, dude, there would always be like now, a though, letter. Right? You gotta do you that gotta, Yeah, you gotta carry that out traditionally. You gotta do that now. I did it a couple times. It's so, like I had no idea how much time he put into it. You gotta think about it. He started, he started thinking about that shit in June, dog. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Yeah, 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 and yeah. he would like type these long ass letters. <laughs> and I think Mo, Mo got a little Christmas tree. He was probably 16 or 17. Covered in condoms. <laughs> And it, see, when, if that, you get a Santa gift, yeah, yeah. like before anybody else opens anything, yeah. you got to open the Santa gift in front of everybody. Oh, oh. so you just got to see it. would be yeah. hilarious. Yeah. Let up, yeah. Cool thing about that, he probably used every single one of them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. At that time, <laughs> probably like the four guy of them that day. Yeah, yeah. Mo was an animal. The Still is, actually. He, he was. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he was. You can look at his face and be like, God damn, settle down, guy. Yeah. You, you just think, you're thinking about it right now. We're talking. So horny. Yeah. <laughs> He's out of control. He's out of control. Um, tr traditions was, we, were, we would always, after dancing in the conga line, go upstairs, go to bed at like nine or something. Parents would hang out. They'd wake us up at, at midnight, and we'd all open up presents then. That's oh, kind of wow. tight. I love that. We would wake up like, fuck, I forgot. Yes. Running downstairs. Do, 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 do. And everyone would get in a circle and we'd uh, go youngest to oldest. Getting a sleep on Christmas night when you're a kid rules. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If you actually go to bed. Yeah. Because you wake up and you're like, oh, fuck, it's eight. I'm allowed to, I'm allowed to leave my room. Yep, yep, yep. I used to love looking out <laughs> my bedroom window and seeing all my neighbors like down the street, all the Christmas lights. I yeah, love that that's shit true. too. That's a good feeling. When everyone participates. Yeah. <laughs> people I was starting gone. to get back into it, man. No, for, you, for a while the, the, there, people weren't doing nothing. This person, this, there's somebody that lives over there that just does too much, dude. It's around the entire roof, down the side, down each frame. Like, stop. That's too much. You know, be tight. Do you if, do anything? If I had been in that house like three more years and I had this like the same vision, yeah. if, if we had the same memory, like looking out the same windows, mm -hmm. that'd be tight as shit. Yeah, dude. But I was gone at five. But I love that crap. I mean, yeah. And then like, what's your Christmas tradition, by the way? My Christmas tradition yeah. now? No, th no. What's something that you guys? Well, yeah, yeah. Oh, it's, yeah. It's it's only happened in like the last decade. But every Christmas, me and my parents go to the movies. Yeah, that's I right. love that shit. Yeah. We're you going. Do, to, you, well, you're going this this we're year. Going Sunday, we're going Sunday. We're going to see Violent Night. Yep. Yeah. You doing minis? Of she course. Said you guys go to the bar afterwards or whatever. Well, yeah, because. You know what? <laughs> we were gonna, <laughs> what does that mean? <laughs> yeah, hey, hey. We were going to go to the Alamo Theater in D.C. again uh, because they like served cocktails like based on the movies and shit that you watch. It's right. so much fun. But mom was like, how about we just go to the movies down here and go to Criers? I went, jackpot! Because uh, yeah. Criers is open on so, Christmas so Day. I mean, and it might be back a violent road, night. Back road in. Oh, yeah. Somebody <laughs> gets stabbed. That's what's up. That's what's you're, up. Either, you're either fighting, fucking, or farting. So you better pick one. <laughs> tradition. What do you guys? What tradition do you guys have? Uh, we don't really have. Uh, all right, so it's not nearly as fun as your guys' tradition. No. But every uh, you guys have sex. We make a daughter. We make a daughter on yeah, Christmas. We make a daughter every it's year. Make, bro, <laughs> honestly, if it, if it was like out of this world, like it was some crazy shit, like every year just on Christmas, like some wild. Something new every yeah for sure that'd be awesome. So the only tradition that I personally like that we do now yeah is every year I like oh. since <laughs> Nally to Lexi to Aubrey I hold them and put them let them put the star on the tree. Oh, that's so, like, cool. There's, a, there's yeah. a picture from one time Natalie was one all the way now to now Aubrey does it. Each she's, one. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, no, not so, each. So you don't, I know. Why? <laughs> no, Aubrey's ten now, and she's now. It's her job to put it, and she still wants. So to you do don't it. pick up your sixteen-year-old daughter. No, I do not. Well, she's how did? But no, how, how, did how did you pick the, uh, oh, no. the transition year? Like when? It, oh, no. When? When was Natalie done and, and Lexi so, started? So when Natalie and Lexi, because they're close to each other, they I did both of them for a hey, while. Hey, turn four back down. <laughs> 
Just a little bit. You, you were better. You're talking better in the mic this time. So That's I, I did both of <laughs> them for a while up until they were probably like seven and nine. And then once Natalie hit about 10, Natalie's always been like the, I'm too cool for this kind of kid. Yeah. When she got to 10. She stopped. Then it was she stopped believing. Lexi and <laughs> Aubrey. And then when Lexi hit about 11 ish, she stopped and it was just. Awesome. People that don't know his kids are like. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's funny because I've only, I, I, I've only met Natalie and Aubrey. I've never met Lexi. Lexi? She, oh, the she's one? always either gone or in her room. She seems like the silent one for sure. Is oh, she the quiet one? Uh, actually, now she's actually the most social one. Huh. She, she goes to all the school events. Yeah. She's, she's vice president. Well, how old class. is she now? Uh, she's 15. Jesus, man. Yeah. Your kids are old. Natalie's become very much <laughs> yeah, like bro, an introvert. He's gone before all. Whereas Lexi's become the most, the more outgoing. See, Wes is, so. Wes is going to be done with kids yep. by the, before 50 and just be living it yeah. up. Yeah. Partying with them, yeah, dude. You're gonna have a freaking awesome, like all your Sunday. all your daughter's hot friends. Be like, your dad's kind of creepy, but I like yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> you know, it's actually really weird because What's a lot that? of uh, Lexi Ooh. and Natalie's guy friends, yeah, they like you. Li- they like Lauren. Oh. They found her. On, uh, they found her on Instagram. Oh and stuff like that. no, so, yeah, that's yeah. not good. Yeah. One of them wants is selling a chop time card. Like he's like, can my friend Ryan? He wants to know if we want to buy chop time cards. You know, little twenty dollars. Yeah, yeah, cards. they're they're worth it. I was like, yeah, but Ryan can't come over here and get him from Lauren. You know, he's got to come get him from me. Uh, so. <laughs> so, 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 and Lauren likes it too. So, she gets a little smirk on her face, so and she's like, Ryan's like, like, deals off. Hold on, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm just, I'm just saying this because it, it is the term. So Lauren is like the she's the milf, a milf, the milf. Okay, little, all right, yeah. Just saying. I, I mean, to her, it wasn't that Good long ago, so, you know, so. I yeah. mean, right. She oh. likes it. You can tell when they were. Oh, like, dude, oh, yeah, yeah, for yeah, sure, yeah, sure bro. Like, yeah. Imagine if you were like a hot da- hot dad. Imagine if I was. Right. <laughs> <laughs> As I was saying, you'd be like, "This is pretty cool." Yeah, yeah. If all your little, if all your little daughter's friends started following you on Instagram, yeah. little dilf over there. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually it's funny because there is uh, one dad that a lot of the older softball girls like on the softball team. Oh God! And they all talk about it. Uh, like, I'm around the girls all the time. Is it Jay? Shots. Is it Jay? It's not Jay's daughter doesn't play softball. Okay. Who is it? Uh, it's actually a guy named Ahmad. He's a black guy. Oh, jeez. Uh, oh, he's got a BBC, uh, bro. But he's like, he's like, chill, like, chill, Brett. He's like, he's like 50 years old, though. Does he look like 45? Jordan or Idris Elba? Looks, he looks super young. Yeah. Pretty pretty black old, don't crack, so, baby. Yeah. Oh, gosh. That's fun. And all the girls are like, oh, what's your dad doing? And they're so blatant <laughs> oh, about it. They're so Jesus. blatant about it. Jesus. Yeah. Damn. One girl wears a shirt all the time says, I love Dilfs. I mean, oh my! How old is she? Seventeen. That's ridiculous. Her parents should be ashamed. These kids now are just. Absolutely- it's just a shirt, Mike. It's just a shirt, dude. Even Bro, uh, what's- hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, Wes. Would you let Natalie wear that shirt? No, I wouldn't. Okay, well, never mind. No, what do you mean? But again. I would. That's literally. But a lot of parents I, do. Dess is twenty two, and I, he's about to be in her ass. Like, what are you? What are you doing? Yeah, yeah. What is that? Doing with that Take shirt? Take that shit off. You, I mean, I w- no shot. What do you mean? She's a. What, your daughter's allowed to wear that at seventeen? It's just a shirt, man. I, was wearing, I had a shirt that said, "I'm Rick James, bitch." I mean, that ain't <laughs> sure, bro. That's like Dude, a. I, you don't realize though. Now I don't know if it was it's, like it's this. It's so hard, bro. Well, uh, hold on. You gotta pick a shoes for sure. Aside from that, I don't know. Like, if it was like this when we were kids. But these young girls no, it's not. want older guys so bad. It's, they talk about it all the time. They're always like, you see this person, you see that person. I'm like, but it's like the fad now. It's, it's there, ridiculous. I mean, there yeah, were like a silly. couple of girls, like when we were like in our later years in high school, they were like, oh, I'm dating like a 22-year-old. You're like, well, that guy's a creep. No, they want like That did happen men. a lot. When oh, we were, whoa, whoa. They want whoa. the West Rices of the world. Oh, Christ. Jesus. All right, let's get off this I'm going to lose some more weight. <laughs> <laughs> which, that, that brings up to a crazy, a crazy uh, topic, which is why I was asking about those people, which was uh, Steven Tyler, which was Iggy Pop, which Dude, was Elvis was Presley. So fun. Did you watch the video? The Patreon video? I didn't. Oh, God not yet. damn it. It's so well done. It's pretty, it's pretty good. It's like one of my, it's, it's a classic for me. They all dated 16 year old girls. They all dated underage chicks. Really underage. And Ted Nugent. He actually so Jerry Lee Lewis and Chuck yep. Berry didn't make the list. No. They did. They did. Oh, okay. Yeah, but we, I just didn't. I, I didn't ask Whoa, on the gosh. video. Right. I didn't get to it. I mean, I was asking about. So Iggy Pop had like it, it was just there was two groupies that Flash were. Flashed it so quick, I was dying. I was uh, dying. The, Iggy Pop was with a sixteen year old, and he actually was with her when she was like thirteen. But she was like an actual groupie that was in L.A. Where her parents were, no idea. But it was yeah. her name was Sable Star, and not her real name. No, not, not at all. Uh, and there was another girl, and they were like 13, 14-ish. I mean, um... It's really weird that we just naturally segue into this. 
Well, because I know. Wait, he, oh, had he had to say something. He had to say something. He had to say something. He had to say segue. Get this fucking guy out of here, man. Get him out of here. Who did you put that on the teleprompter? He can't just let shit happen. I know he can't. Few, He's got to stick his fucking nose in it. I know a few people that were doing that at my brother's place. I don't, who, really? Come on, bro. I mean, what, what are you coming on? Like, I'm not. Daddy's not coming on anything. I'm I mean, I'll, I'll, I actually, I will not edit it. So hold the mic away real quick. Hold on, bro. Like you, this, like, you know, ex- hold on. I will, but you know exactly who and what I'm talking about. There were some young girls at my brother's place when there were certain bands that were kind of big around here, and certain things happened. No idea. Come on, bro. Come on, do it like this already. <laughs> I'll do it off air. Fuck that. It's just the, the rare case it gets picked up. Wasn't it known that like it won't get picked up back in the day? Where, like, will. They were no, no, fine. Don't. Are you kidding me? Where's your phone? Where's I'll text you. It yeah, text me, damn it. Jesus. But wasn't it a thing back then? Like, uh, like a lot it was of like, never a thing. punk bands, like the the singers are uh, like like Warp Tour. Like all these guys hook up these young chicks all the time. I'll that be kind of was Steve Klein. No, it hap- It did happen. And uh, <laughs> he never got. He never went to jail though. They just kicked him out of the band. He was creep. <laughs> the thing was, dude. What, uh, Amanda. When Amanda was like seventeen, she looked like a full grown woman. And I was into that woman. I was into that dog. Like I wouldn't like. So you would have girls definitely that were like, "Oh, that's my favorite band member. That's my favorite." With like CYB is what I'm yeah. talking about. And they were always just so young when they got when they came up to you, you would just sign and be like, "I mean, yeah. it wasn't anything even thought about ever." And so, like, when you hear about it, that's what pisses me off about it. It's like, bro, like, you took advantage of yeah. a, 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 a yeah. position of power that you were in. Yeah. And that's that's trash. And that's why these guys pissed me off, which was Steven Tyler, too. Um, but but Ted Nugent actually uh, met a 16-year-old and had her parents, like, agree and sign off the rights yeah. to Terry him. Yeah. Terry Lewis did the same thing. And, and married her or got with her. But, like... <laughs> Elvis, Elvis Presley Chris Hansen Hi what are you doing here Exactly Elvis Presley <laughs> With um Priscilla Priscilla She, she was, was like, like 15 four, She was like th- f- 14 or something And he told his Buddy in the military Can't remember his name right now That uh He, he liked it Because he could train her To be the way he wanted Which is well, ridiculous And that's an that? actual statement I know y'all have seen The, the Chris Collinsworth Clip on Instagram or something. Oh, dude, where he's like, I uh, like the young girls because they do what they're told type yeah. shit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, they're not really that smart. Right. And, uh, That's ridiculous. Get some dude, what are we doing? Them. That's crazy. Yeah, I saw that. I just saw that for the first time like two weeks ago. What's was, even weird yeah. though with the Elvis thing is that Priscilla's dad was like a captain in the military, or something like that. Like yeah. he was like some high ranking, like, yeah. and she was there just living with Bro, her dad. Bro, he probably charmed him. Elvis was a God, he was though. a god. Dude, I loved Elvis. Do you see I that dude? Elvis. I oh, you, still got, you got a pink Cadillac tattoo. So, so, yeah. so when, in our video that I'm sure some haven't seen, but you should go to our YouTube and find it. It's the Christmas uh, tequila one. When I brought up Elvis, like for that, pa- it's for Patreon only. No, it's not. Uh, so, so I thought that was a private link. It is right now. Oh, but you're it's gonna early release access. It. Yeah, uh, yeah. All right. So, Maybe so next week. that Elvis interview, I could not. <laughs> what are you doing? You don't want what that do to you? be public? No, 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 no. I don't care about that. Oh, oh. I just want people to, you know. Get behind the paywall. So do I. Do it. So do I. So. Um, but it, it, Christmas is always up, dog. So, I got <laughs> <laughs> so that one. But I want to do more like that. You know what I'm saying? I like that shit. Those videos are awesome, and they sh- we should do more of those. They're so funny. But right. any. But I, I. Sorry. 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 Uh, sorry. What the fuck was I saying? Elvis. 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 That interview. Uh, was awesome. I couldn't when, stop watching. It was dude, very high def, like when, right on his when, face. When, when Wes said, he's really more than just a hound dog. I was beautiful, <laughs> right? And then I said it slow over him going like, more than just a hound dog. He was like losing it. He was doing all these facial fe- Dude, you gotta watch it. You're gonna dude, love it. Have you seen it. the Elvis, the new Elvis movie? I want I to. I haven't, no. Have you? It's too, I've I heard it's too long. I didn't. It, it's actually a pretty good movie. But isn't it more about his manager than him? Uh, it, yes. But it's about him too. It's about him getting fucked over by his manager. Yeah, essentially that, but like, the how strung out he was towards the end. Oh, dude, he was so he was eating painkillers like a motherfucker. Insane. Like he like there was a scene he was where in a soma coma. there was a scene where he actually like kind of like passes out because his body's just breaking down, and they just pump him full of more meds. It's like, all right, gotta be on stage in five minutes. Gotta go. Gotta go. like it's adrenaline and shit. After yeah. watching that, after watching that, um, that interview personally, that that one right there. Yeah. Personally, I don't know why I said that. <laughs> that made no fucking sense. But after watching that specific video, it was about him being like really fucked up looking like he was yeah. on some crazy drugs, but he looked actually just like really tired. Yeah, he was he looked exhausted. exhausted. Dude, he was a workhorse for a lot of people making a lot of money. And he, and he started coughing. He was like, oh, this fresh air. I can't take this fresh air. But if I don't smell garbage, uh, he's like, I, I can't breathe. You know who he kind of looked like in that interview? He kind of looked like uh, your, uh, your, uh, our friend Scott. 
Bailey? Yeah, a little bit. Oh. The dark hair, the nose. Scott Bailey was a good looking dude. No, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Not, I'm not, I'm yeah, not all talking. Those, all those dark haired guys no, with just, noses look yeah. alike. Oh, they got noses. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> but anyways, it was fun doing that. Um, but that was why I was asking you. I was going to like uh, merge it eventually. Until, these guys sucked. Is was the was the point? Uh, Steven Tyler had his issues with much. Uh, Ted Nugent had a song called Jailbait. Yeah, you can read the lyrics. It's actually, a pretty good song. They're though. crazy. What about the Sting song? The, the whole song "Don't Stand So Close to Me" is about pretty much saying I'm attracted to this underage girl, yeah. right. and he knows it's wrong. Yeah. Yeah. Please don't get too close to me because so I know I'm going to give him these. What urges. made them write that shit back then? Dude, it That's was just crazy. It was the time Isn't my period, about a I, little girl too. I know it's different times, yeah. and there was one Tom well, Jones did one, right? Baby. Touching hands, touching. Yes. Uh, oh, Caroline, no, 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 Neil Diamond, Neil Diamond, Neil, I want to party with you. <laughs> that was about a girl, a young girl too. So it's there is a fucking yeah, there's fuck definitely the Red a pattern. Sox, by the way, huh? Fuck the Red Sox. Yeah, fuck the Red Sox. Sweet Caroline. Oh, yeah, Red, it's yeah, like yeah, a yeah. Boston fuck the thing. Murphy's. Fuck, fuck Massachusetts for all I care. I don't really care. <laughs> <laughs> so that was about a little girl too, right? Uh, here we go. Creepy well, song, creepy rock songs about. I like this about young girls you've been singing along to without realizing. Uh, itsy bitsy titsies girl, itsy bitsy titsy girl by the okay. Deadsies. All right, perfect. Never good, heard good, it. Good start. Mm. Yeah, Straight Cat Blues by the Rolling Stones. Mm-hmm. Gosh, can, we gotta I can fix see this. That you're 15 please. years old. No, I don't want your ID. You look so restless, and you're so far from home. But it's no hanging matter. It's Guys, no talking too much front. in a song. He's saying he's saying way too much in a song. Good that morning, was, little school. Right, girl? Was, that was a ridiculous line. That made no sense. Good morning, little school girl by the Grateful Dead. Good morning, little school girl. Can I come home with you? What? And the <laughs> tell your mama and papa I'm a little schoolboy too. Whoa! Oh, How old was he when he wrote it though? Hey, can we pause on the Grateful Dead? Yeah, they said so. <laughs> Who do you know anybody that likes the Grateful Dead? Yeah, my sister. Name a song. My sister. Love them. Love them. Dude, that is I a creepy that. Yeah. lyric. <laughs> That's an awful lyric. That's an awful lyric. Uh, Dude, and, and this is what I wanted to do. I wanted to start. Did Winger have a song called 17? Yep. Where the line was, she's, she's only 17. Exactly. <laughs> so that's my thing is like, fucking call these dudes. I don't care how long ago. But that, we all knew it was creepy. Why that. am I so big on the screen? It's uh, creepy now. Fuck all of them. Kiss Christine 16. Ew. She's been around, but she's young and clean. I've got to have her. Can't live without her. Whoa, no. Christine 16. Christine 16. Wow. Tight. Good fucking lyric, guy. Yeah, my Sharona's the, on there. The Ides of March. Hey, well, I'm the friendly stranger in the black sedan. Won't you hop inside my car? I got pictures, got candy. I'm a lovable man. I love to take Why you to you the Why would you write that? Star. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Finish the last line. Crazy. I, I, I was talking over it. That's crazy. I got pictures, got candy. I'm a lovable man. I'd like to take you to the nearest star. Hold on. They didn't just write it. They he did wrote it. it. He then took it to the band. Yep. The band was like, yeah, dude, yep. that's dope. Yeah. They Recorded. went to the studio. Isolated the producer was like, nailed it. Fuck all of them. The label was like, we got to drop this piece. Right. Yeah. <laughs> this ain't no B-side, bro. <laughs> I mean, it's the same thing with media. It's the same thing with Hollywood nowadays, which is like, the gun violence is out of control. In this, and they keep pushing fucking movies with at, like endless bullets. <laughs> Endless violent shooting. night. Oh, and- I, I can't wait. <laughs> exactly. There's nothing wrong with the girl. No yeah, shit. Yeah, yeah. I love it. I'm just saying, don't preach to us about Steve gun violence. Took, yeah. My drummer said, take Home Alone and Die Hard and mash them together. Love I it. can't wait. Obviously. Love it. Anyways, go ahead, Wes. Did you guys, right. uh, hold actually, on. No, no, hold on, Wes. Did you see that they made a Grinch horror movie where the Grinch is like, all a about leg- it? I would love to see that. that really? Yes. Yeah. Dude, I hate it. Oh, you saw it? I would rather. No, no. You hate that idea. I'm all. I'm all for horror movies. I'm all for Christmas movies. That's like, I don't know. It's like crossing like the line. That. I don't know. I, I, dude, I don't, a good Krampus movie, like like a good one though, not like dude one that came but out. But they created they created a new character. Oh, the the horror in, the in creature. Grinch? Yeah, no, the Krampus. Oh, oh, oh. It's like its own thing. Okay. Okay. Krampus, so, no, 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 the Krampus, Krampus like, is part of lore too. Though. No, that's a part of lore. That's like a not. That's not a made up thing. Krampus now. was for the bad kids. Santa was for the good kids back in Germany. I get yeah, it. My, my point is like now they're they're taking the Grinch, which. Yeah, the Grinch has been a bad guy. Yeah, but at the end, he turns into a yeah. good guy. It's yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. been like, and, and it's funny because Christmas, a, and now they're like kind of just making him full on evil. Yeah, there was yeah. a meme. There was a meme about it saying like, dude, all he wanted was like some peace and quiet with his dog to chill out and like fucking stay at home and like they were making all that noise down there. Yeah, uh, Jason Voorhees will be like Christmas movie next well, year, but he'll be a good guy. I know, I know. Yeah, he'll be happy yeah. as shit. And let's be real, maybe <laughs> like uh, uh, maybe the Grinch. His uh, you let's know. be honest about the Friday Thirteenth movies okay. too. They don't get good until the third one. Friday Thirteenth one and two are so bad 
Because the first one is his mom, and then the second one is him, but he's wearing a fucking burlap sack on his head. The third one, he <laughs> yeah. finds the hockey mask, and then it's finally on. All right, Wes, move it on. Sorry. Magic just- Sharona, the knack, never going to stop. Give it up. Such a dirty mind. I always get it up for the touch of the younger kind. My, I, 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 That's crazy. I, woo! Neil Diamond, girl, you'll be a woman soon. Wow. Girl, you'll be a woman soon. Take it easy, Neil. Right Please come take my guts. hand. <laughs> Girl, you'll be a woman soon. Time to soon rearrange some organs. Need a man. What'd you say? I, I don't know. <laughs> what was the last two lines? Sorry. Girl, you'll be a woman soon. Soon you'll need a man. Look, wow. un- Unsweet 16 is the next one. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it, bro. Unsweet 16. I mean, he was 17, though, when he wrote yeah, it, so that's no, okay. It's, yeah. Or maybe it might have been 16, actually. Happy right? birthday, <laughs> Sweet 16, that's by so Neil funny. Sadaka. 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 Tonight's the night I've waited for because you're not a baby anymore. Oh! You've, you've turned into the prettiest girl I've ever seen. Well, she's of age right then, right? He, 16. Sweet 16. Shit. Oh, is, yeah. that, is Young Girl the next uh, one? Uh, yeah, the next call is called Young Girl by young Gary Puckett and the Union Gap. Get out of my by who? Mind. The Union Gap. My love for the you. Union Gap. <laughs> I love that you're reading these, but you, you're reading it like you've never heard any of them. You've definitely heard Young Girl. I, <laughs> I've, I've never heard that. No, listen, hold on. I've never heard that. You've heard Young Girl at like your <laughs> grandparents. Yeah, yeah young some girl, dentist office. get out of my mind. My love for you is way out of line. Better run, girl. You're much too young, girl. <laughs> All right, well, I guess the next lyrics go. <laughs> yeah, but it's not, not to. With all the charm of a woman, you've kept the secret of your youth. You led me to believe you're old enough to give me love, and now it's oh, yeah! Oh my god, that's out of control. Woo! Uh, you're 16. You're beautiful, and you're mine. By Johnny Burnett. Woo! That's like, a, that's like a 50s joint right there. Oh, come on, like a dream. It peaches and cream. Oh yeah, Johnny. Lips like strawberry wine. You're 16. You're beautiful, and you're mine. Man, he's always <laughs> you're 16. You always want to find you're the beautiful the sun. in your mind. Brown Trump. sugar by the Rolling Stones. Brown, Brown sugar. sugar. Dude, how come you taste so good? <laughs> Say it again. Brown Brown sugar. sugar. Just like a young girl should. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> That's just, I mean, it's out of control, dude. This dude. is the funniest fucking thing ever. Think, think about how long it's been going, though. Before that. Alabama song by The Doors. Well, show me the way to the next little girl. Oh, don't ask why. Don't ask why. I mean, he, I, we got to get well, some context on that. Well, he wrote that satirically to make fun of the South. So, but still, I get it. <laughs> <laughs> I hate The Doors, too. Jim Moore's a good rotten hell. I don't care. Don't stand but, so close to me by the face. I mean, he is. Inside the him, there's longing. There's girl and open page. This girl's an open page. Book marking. She's so close now. This girl is half his age. Don't stop. <sighs> and let's be real. He's- Walk this way. Walk this way. Oh, boy. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> I was no. going to start singing it again. Do it. Do it. Backseat oh, low. No. The day the beat, beat, beat. Go, go, sweetie, with a classic guy says it. Let's go, sweetie, with a classic guy says it. <laughs> I don't even have headphones on, but I can hear that. Uh, there was three young ladies in the school gym locker when I noticed they was looking at me. She told me too. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> oh, I mean, it's ridiculous. Seventeen's on there. Seventeen. Yeah, winger. I mean, that's getting close. Seventeen's. Uh, when you grow older, girl, you'll remember I told you, girl. Seventeen, you're just seventeen, seventeen, seventeen. All right. Man, Damn, Jeff Winger really went out on a ledge on that <laughs> one. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking asshole. Uh, Thirteen. Thirteen. Oh, oh no. no. Big star. Never heard of him. Okay. Who? Big star. Let it rip. Let's see. Here. It's only one line. Can there. you sing it though? Would you be an outlaw for my love? If it's so, then let me know. Oh, that's all it's Yes. Yeah. <laughs> that's awful. I saw her standing there by the Beatles. Okay. Well, she was just 17. You know what I mean. <sighs> Last one's sticking Whoa. candles. So, the, so, so they, be- it probably wasn't like out of question when they wrote it. Well, they no. were probably teenagers when they wrote it, yeah. too. Yeah. But there was a time that they were actually in the studio playing with... Uh, a Probably black Shaker. guy, black guy, Chuck Billy, Berry, Billy Preston. It might have been Chuck Berry, and then there was another was Billy Preston, and then and then um, I think it was Iggy. No, somebody was in there who was messing with that Sable Star girl. That girl got everywhere, by the way. And he took her somewhere and, and did some dominator kind of stuff. Took her to a room and I mean it was ridiculous. Yeah, it, I, I just read a bunch of stuff and I was like, okay. Just as I'm long out. as it wasn't George, I love George. George, Hari Krishna, motherfucker. George Harrison. 
It might have been. Probably was. I don't know. So, yeah, all those people, fuck them. Yeah, they knew it was wrong. Let's be real. Come on. Dude, it, that's awful. Yeah, so, you want to move on? We're in a good generation, I guess. Yeah. So, uh, Merry Christmas, everybody. <laughs> I, can I, before we segue into the next part, um, I do. Stop saying segue. Sorry. I mean, it's out of control. It's out That's of control. That's like first year fucking podcast. So, hey, what was that thing Paul Blart drove? Uh, a, a segue. <laughs> <laughs> That's better. That's so funny. I'll take that. We got some moosh on here, boys. Okay. So, real quick, it's going to take 30 seconds. About a year ago, One, I two. went to a local establishment and shit all over it. Yep. It's a place called The Rex. Yep. I had a terrible meal, a terrible service, he a terrible time. Shit on it. Crushed them. And to where they like literally hit us up. We're like, hey, guys, <laughs> that was so Ow. mean. Like, I literally was like, that, that, was, so that was the proudest I've ever been of Wes uh, Wilkes, where he went, hey, instead of contacting us, how about you clean your shit up, figure it out? Well, <laughs> I didn't say it like that. You kind of did. You kind of did. <laughs> In a roundabout way. The owner's going to be like, well, I have the text. He said, uh, I'm so sorry, sir. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, Wes went to bat for me, and he went, hey, no, okay. instead of, like, contacting us about having a bad review, why don't you look in, 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 into what you got going on? Exactly. So it had been over a year. I went to the Rex last Thursday for my work Christmas party. It was stellar. The food, awesome. The service, the bartenders, we everything was around. So I, I didn't want to, like, not say anything because I did ride them really hard a year ago, but... Maybe that's no why it was so place. good, bro. He saw you. He was like, there he is. <laughs> dude, he's yeah. back in the kitchen like, hey, you got to hey, make guys. this again. Make it again. We, we got Brent Lab yeah. Lab 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 All right, cool. <laughs> make that sandwich again. <laughs> Brent's labia is These fries are 17. cold. All the food, dude, the, the fucking pizzas were slamming. So I was, I was throwing out there. That's great. That's great news. It was great. Yeah. I'll probably go back and give yeah. him another chance as like outside of like a party situation. Uh, with a hood on, just like, hey, I hate it no, on. No, 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 no. I, I shit on them, and they figured it out. It was so good. And I feel like they painted the place. It's not, like, dark red anymore. Like, it's they figured it out. It's cool. Good. That's great news, I, I, I heard that the back room is opening for, like, acts and bands and shit. I hope, I hope that is successful. Because I ordered, a, I, I ordered a damn whiskey ginger there one time, and it was, I couldn't believe what they handed me. Yeah. It was awful. I was like, dude, get, I, I was pissed. I was we left after one drink. That's bad. Jess was ordering cocktails. I was ordering cocktails. They were, they were good. dude. Yep, it was a great night. Yep, good. It was a great night. I have to ask you guys this. We should before, be pressuring people like that before we get into the next thing. With you guys being musicians, and the amount of songs that are just in your head. Yeah. Is there constantly? Are you like triggered by one word that will immediately no, put a song in your head? That's you, because because you're you're you do know. An insane I, amount of songs. It'll happen oh, every it, now and then. I just, just had, I just had four songs in my head just while Brent was talking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just like, but you're always like learning pop. too. Um, he's he's like I guess newer to it as well, yeah. so he's still learning. But you are, you've already got. I mean, you got hundreds of songs literally in your head that you need triggers for. You're used to looking for triggers because you're singing live. And you're like, I need to remember this right now. Here it comes. Here comes the second verse. You got it, but or do you not? And I, I mean, I, they'll just be like one word. Yeah, I got exactly. It. That's what I'm saying. Like that's probably it why happens, it happens, it happens sometimes, but not all the time. Yeah, I, I, I guess the only one that really gets me is um. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. <laughs> there is one that always. Oh God! Whenever I see a "Don't Tread yeah. on Me" flag or like "Don't Tread on Me" license plate, it goes straight to Metallica. Don't tread on me, 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 me. <laughs> every time. So fuck, man. That would have been so funny if my brain worked. Yep. Didn't I had a good one because it, it does pop in my head. It's the only one that pops in my head when it happens. So cool story, Mike. Moving on. Uh, Thank you for that, Mike. That was really an, uh, so yeah. damn stupid. Thank you. Sometimes I need I need on it. Nice segue. Yeah, yeah, dude. God bless America. I, I'm telling you, Wes. That is such drop a trigger. It. Fucking throw that word out the fucking door. Can I ask you? No, question? actually, get up. I want, you to, I want you to physically ask act, real quick. act it out. Go out there and throw that word out of your mouth. What do you eat for Christmas dinner? What do I eat for Christmas dinner? Yeah. Uh, we, we're getting steaks. Yeah, we're doing steaks too. Yeah, so, because fuck turkey, fuck all that dumb yeah. shit. We're getting steaks. Porterhouse. What are you doing, with Brent? Every year we're pick, we pick out our own steaks. Hey, Sorry, we're done with you. No, no, that's cool. You've literally cut me off a million times. Tonight. I didn't. Did I say anything? You did. I saw I that face. Just said, I saw that face. No, it's okay. Cool. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
My mom makes a lasagna and a big salad every year, and okay. that shit rules. Fuck yeah. Right. I asked her uh, I asked her next time she makes... Oh, well, she wants to meet up now and do it, but uh, stuff to him. Oh, that's fine. Because I said I asked Brent for some. I didn't get none, and she said, that boy, he gave his hair... The person that gave him a haircut, like a whole shit ton, gave Vinny shit ton. I was like, I Hold just on. asked for a sandwich. Vinny has like 30 pounds of stuff to him in his freezer. You that's want what, some? I will go take some. That's what he said. <laughs> that's what she I'll said. I'll go over there tomorrow. He ended up with 40... I just wanted a sandwich. He ended up with 45 pounds of stuff to him. Well... I wanted to just take some down to my family too, and be like, "Look, this is stuff well, they, they don't know nothing about." I stuff can sneak it over back to over here tonight. That's fine. Then he needs up. to make another pizza with that white sauce he made. Oh no, it's coming. That's why it's in the freezer for the spring. What does he? Yeah. What does he do with white sauce pieces? Explain to us. Hey, can we ask Wes what he wanted to eat for Christmas dinner first? I'm sorry. I mean, I'm Jesus. sorry. We got a real tangent there. Yeah. No, it's funny. Uh, just yesterday, we were talking about steak and shrimp. Yeah. So we're probably having oh, steak too. Yes. There's because lobsters are trash. I don't care what anybody says. They I are. fucking hate lobster. They're, they're, they're tough. horrible. Steak and shrimp is where it is at. If you're going to do serve and turf, other than a crab cake, dude, that's what I was going to say. Because I ha- I went to uh, Glatios and got a steak, so good, and a crab cake, and I've never had a better pairing of so two good. things than that, dude. So I highly crab recommend cake that. and a little bit of steak on the fork at the same uh, time. Dude, it was like orgasmic. Yeah, but what Vinny does with the white sauce on the pizza? I just sounded so white. He takes the stuff. <laughs> he takes. <laughs> I don't want to give a secret away because there's more that goes oh, into no, it. Oh, no, please. Please don't give a secret away. No, no, no. no. <laughs> All 30 listeners may try to steal it. He's like, hey, stop talking. <laughs> there's a th- but in a nutshell, without no. certain seasonings or whatever, it's Alfredo sauce. And <laughs> Benny's getting so pissed right now. He's, no. like, he's smacking his dashboard. <laughs> he don't listen to the show anymore. He fucking don't even. Whatever. <laughs> it's, it's Alfredo sauce and a bunch of the stuffing from the ham in a blender. Hey, Jake, remember when Brent was going to open up a pizza joint? That was cute. I wasn't going to open up Damn, a piece of joint. you were going to do hey, that. Wes. No, no, no. Hey, it was a, it was a stuffed... Right no, 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 no. Stupid. Take it, you should take your little... You <laughs> should it was take a your stuffed ham yeah. food truck, but the amount of... Yes, it's a lot. The, it's, Mike, it's, pass that to Brent. Oh, yeah, yeah, I want the peach. He didn't try that one yet. You didn't have a good name for it. Hardcore ham? Yeah. Yeah. Good name. <laughs> oh, no, I just watched it. <laughs> Triple H. Hardcore. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you're freaking right, Brent. I just read your text about who was with it on your Yeah, dude. You're right. It's sad. Yeah. Uh, so, so can you can you remind me of, or maybe you can, um, of who was on the practice squad for years and just made it to the the uh, the all star uh, roster? Jeremy Reeves. Yes. And there's a great video. Oh, the, uh, the Redskins. Oh yeah, yeah. Where where, where uh, Rivera is telling yeah. two guys, I guess they're buddies of his. <clears throat> well, the first guy God, was McLaurin. Yep. And then the next guy yeah. was Tressway. It was scary Terry. Then Tress. So that was the and big then Jason, one. John Jonathan Allen. Get you goddamn friends that cry about your success. Dude, Trish Way is that dude. Gets that, that in a positive way. Yeah. Not yeah. in a bitching way. That peach is awful. Like my Apple, p- awesome. Peach, awful. I don't know if it's awful. I don't like it at all. Here, you want to try it? Yes. You could scrap my bud light. Yeah, I did. <laughs> I was reaching it. I want to uh, hang out with Trish Way and Taylor Heineke at the same time. Why? Well, I mean, what a reaction to have, like, naturally about your friend <laughs> succeeding. That's yeah. amazing. Yeah, Terry was kind of like, oh, cool, like, good for him. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, Trask Wade was He literally like, broke down. Yeah, he was tearing up. But, I mean, they're both special teamers. I know, so. I know. They're, they're family, literally. Yeah. And then, and then and Jeremy Reeves was undrafted on the, on the uh, 2018 draft class, and then and he's been on special teams for a couple of years now, just grinding, grinding. So, who was the one that, who was the dude that, uh, Sean, Al, no, not Sean, Al, Steven Alexander was like that. He was a special teams dog, but he also played D too. But, like, he was more known for wrecking shop. And then Rivera was like, your mom would be proud. So I guess his mom died, like, sometime yeah. in, in between that. Which, that's, inst- that's instant tears. And then it's like, says that, oh. and then a camera's on you at the same time. Oh, yeah. And, like, you're kind of like, fuck, dude, this is a whole bunch of emotion you're putting me through. Like, right. uh, like it's kind of weird. And you know, like, a lot of guys, don't, and uh, I bet a lot of the Not superstars... Not a good segue, right, Re- Wes? I bet a lot of the superstars... <laughs> you're ruining it. You're ruining it. I bet a lot of the superstars in the league don't really give a shit about the Pro Bowl, but somebody like that who probably gets a Pro Bowl bonus is probably yep. fucking huge. Yeah. And even, even then, it's still not even about the Pro Bowl. It's just like... Recognized. Being recognized yeah, for exactly. all the work. Exactly. Like you're grinding, you're kicking ass or whatever. Yeah. Like um, I, I ran 10 ex- times as many reps as these dudes out here making 10 million a year. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. finally somebody sees right. it. Dude, he all, might be making like one or two million a year. All those know? higher ups know who. They know who's been in there for 10 years, put in work. They yeah. all know. I mean, the guy's been up and down. Like why not give people like that, you know, a chance? I don't know. He's obviously been putting work this year, but. Oh, yeah. 
the Commanders, I, though, bro. Like, are, are, you, are, you, are you guys, like, okay with it now? Are you getting more okay with Commanders? That's what the only sp- Commanders game I've watched is... Heineke's first game against Brady in the playoffs. Really? And when you, they played the, uh You haven't watched this year at all? No. Nah, what? dude. I don't give a shit about so that. So pussy. Wow. What's so pussy. Fan when I they, hope, when I they hope, dropped the name, I was done. Whoever buys Oh, oh you do you do you do I will say titties. though, he does look like Taylor Heineke when he puts a helmet on. Dude, you guys are similar. I looking. said the same thing to yeah. Jess on Sunday night. I said I was watching the game and I was like, that's Wes Rice just from here. Uh, dude, he hair. looks like a mouth breathing Wes Rice. I get it. Three, four times a week. Yeah. No. You got to Last year, when he came in last year, I same thing. A couple you, of people a week. If you trimmed your beard. Any beards? And you just walked around D.C. I'm going to accept people. Bro. Like, You'll oh, enjoy Taylor. it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, it, it, Taylor Heineke's that dude, though. Like, he, like, the Bush lights, like, uh, stuff and, like, buying his, if they beat somebody better, like, buying his O-line Jordans and shit. Like, he's. He, oh, yeah. And, you know, he ain't making no money. So. Um, um, I, th- I, I, I think up, he I, is making. He's I looked like it up. seven he, or something. Right? No, he's, I think he's making four and a half max this year with bonuses. Back in groceries this year. Oh, I get it. He's it's in so the XFL, cool bro. Is, I get it. Is that a good story? Him and who's the dude? This that uh, doesn't happen. In, oh, that can't happen in music. Who's the quarterback but, for the Panthers? Oh, uh, Sam Darnold. No, no, the long haired guy. <clears throat> it's a black um, guy. He was playing in the XFL what? too. Oh, you're right. You're right. You're yeah. right. I forgot his name, but you're right. PJ or yeah, it's PJ. Is it PJ Walker? I think it is. That sounds right. Yeah. Why do I know so much about football? That's pretty good, though. Y'all just remind. Uh, I got no service down here. But the thing is, <laughs> I want. I. I. Yeah. Yeah. Yo, PJ Walker. So let's yeah. go, Britt. Um, but he was in the XFL too. I want the Commanders to do well. I do because it puts a lot of people around here in like that a better put, mood. You know what? That's my next question. So, <clears throat> I feel like the next person, which it's going, someone's going to buy it. And I think it's up to like six billion oh. for the team, which is like, I mean, it's gonna here's, here's you're gonna make a lot of money. Dude. Well, hold on, hold on, let me finish. You're right. Sorry, bro. Sorry, 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 sorry. I'm chatty, Kathy. I tonight. let you have a, a bunch of other ones, but right. this you're, one I'm taking. You're, you're good. You're good. I'm sorry. I apologize. I'm taking this one. <laughs> so whoever buys it, they will win. They will win. They will make so much fucking money if they go. We're going back to Redskins. They're not going to do it. They would make so much The league won't money. let them. The league won't let them. Why would the league let them? What do you mean? I thought that was all on Dan Snyder no, making that change. No, the league pressured him to change the exactly. name. Exactly. Fuck the league. If he's, I don't if, know. Whoever, I don't know. I mean, I think he said that. I don't I don't believe that. I don't, I don't think th- commanders are that bad. It's not, but it's not and the Redskins, bla- dude. And those blackout unis are money. It, you could have blackout Redskins. Hey, you're right. Dude, Redskins is the name. I get whoever, it. Whoever owns this thing, if they change it to Redskins... I, I Money, like Elon said if he bought it, that was the first thing he was doing. Money is coming in. Not gonna buy Dude, he's fucking up. A he's not right going now. to. No, I don't he, know who no, he's not. I Twitter's don't never had more traffic than, than right now. I don't know who would ever buy Twitter. That's so dumb. The only thing that he, the only stupid thing he did was, you know, you're going to get trolled when he said, uh, should I continue to be the CEO of Twitter? That, so, that was all dumb. But he did that on purpose because he doesn't want to run it day to day. He's got other shit. No, he's right. Yeah. More important yeah, going and, and on. He wasn't letting anybody pick. Like he yeah. knew who he was going right. to put he, in there. He he doesn't even have a successor picked. Yeah. It's just it's just a he thing. He understands that it's taking up all his time. Right. It's just a thing that he's going to let somebody that, with his same vision run it. So it's have, that you, simple. have you guys been looking at the Twitter stuff they've been releasing now? What do you mean? Oh yeah, it's oh, bullshit. Dude, dude. Yeah, it's crazy. They are the, them Twitter, the FBI, the government, dude, were running the show. Yeah. yeah. It was it's and pretty, not for the right. No, not no, for the right. It, it was not down the middle. It was 100 percent left. Hey, and you, if you said anything that was going to make somebody cry, it was getting deleted. Can you look up the full price of what the border wall was going to be? Forty-seven billion. I thought it was, I thought it was I nineteen. I, I, that's what. See, that's different, different, and I thought it was different as well. What What did they want? Twenty, 20 million per mile. mile. Oh fuck! <laughs> uh, I, what What was the whole total? Was but what was eleven billion and counting? Do you know how much we've sent to Ukraine? How much have we sent to Ukraine? You said eleven billion uh, already. Oh, hold on, hold on. So it's eleven billion and counting of what we've already spent. Yes. So what would it be? What would the total wall cost? So look up, literally Google. What would the total cost for the entire border wall? The backspace is on fire. Tippy, tippy, tippy. Eleven billion dollars. How much have we sent Ukraine? Uh, over a hundred. How right. much have we sent Ukraine in money? You'll see. Eleven million dollars just for the wall, which was like a no way. We can't afford that. No shot. Fifty-four billion. Fifty-four billion. So that's five walls. <laughs> it's insane. It's five walls. Fuck out of here. 
I mean, what if, imagine point. if imagine if like we just had a group of people meet at the wall yeah. and like uh you five trying to get in all right uh we'll give y'all we'll give y'all these five <laughs> this every this, time this dude right here he hadn't worked in four years uh yes. she's got nine oh, you're kids you're no job. Relegated? i yeah. like that i do like that <laughs> well you know in canada it's a lot of work a, but i like be it a canadian citizen yeah you have to fill out a form and you have to show how you would help the country of canada i love it you, you can't just say i want to be a citizen you're like oh I will help Canada by blah, 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 blah. So how, Canada, hold on, hold on. Canada's a bunch of crazy rules Okay, like so here that. we go, here we go, here we go. Canadian radio is really, and TV. Here we go. How would you, <laughs> how would you, how would you help America? How would I help America? <laughs> <laughs> I was born here. I don't got to help them. I'm already here. <laughs> <laughs> I was born here, baby. I would just say, bro, I got some digital skills. Little. Uh, anyways. I know I the bank. The, I know the mortgage system. Yeah, bro, right. we've given them money. $54 billion yeah. to Ukraine. We'll never see see and we're you paying for like it. Ben Mala. And we're, no, pay, no, we're paying like, for it. No, dude, it's ridiculous. Are you fucking high? But like, what for? Let them defend their own goddamn land like every other country that in the existence of time with our bullshit borders. We gotta let old men decide the, like if we're gonna... We're, we're not the only ones either. There's, no, I know, I know. We have allies in NATO that How is what are they making? giving them Think about it. Ordnance, missiles. Giving, God damn, it pays to go them. to war. It pays to go to war. At the same uh, time, dude, we're the, trading Russia, you know. Yeah. And Russia's really gonna yeah. be like, yeah, what the fuck? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't we're friends. Dog, do you know how many warheads we have? 2024 cannot come fast enough. Like these dudes are Almost deciding the are the deciding factor of like if we exist or not. Like they can get into a nuclear war and we gotta be like, okay, we'll fucking suffer the 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 consequences of you guys being like, hey, I want that fucking piece of dirt right there. Brent. Fuck off. What's up, bud? You you obviously <laughs> lean further. You off. obviously lean further left. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. Are you going on record of saying you will not vote for Biden in twenty twenty four? I didn't vote for him in twenty twenty. Will you not vote for him in twenty twenty four? Absolutely not. What if it's Trump versus Biden? I voted for Daddy Trump both times. Okay. All right. Let me start off with two words. <laughs> made in America. God damn it. He looks like a marionette. He's a puppet. That's your leader. I mean, can, okay, we free world. can we pull up the video of him falling off that bicycle? I could watch that every day for the rest of my life. <laughs> when when the majority of America can kick your ass and you're the leader, I, and, I and you're you. not even like this wise guy that's like just wise guy, huh? Yeah, wise guy, yeah. <laughs> Full of wisdom and knowledge, and like you're you're, you're giving. It's that guy. I, look, I don't want to get too much into no, like, we don't have to. political no, things. Like, I mean, it's not even fun. All guns matter shirt. He don't want to get into they, it. It's not fun. Do do that's a great great shirt. They but, do matter. Honestly, like I don't even want Trump to to be the. I don't either. He's fucking up the system. He's fucking the system up. Yeah. He, system up. Yeah. he fucked it up with 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 homeboy in Pennsylvania, the Doctor Oz shit, Mehmet Oz, and then Herschel Walker. He backed both them super hard. They both shit the bed. And how and how and annoying are these people that are like actually super gay for him? Like, it's annoying. I know you've seen around that circle where the softball is. They got that cross up with his name on it. Whoever and put that up? Anybody you with a, anybody with a, a raised up Ford F three fifty with a Trump flag on the back of it. Just, just take it. Just go back to work. I mean, he's, he's work. not good right now. It, as, as everything that he got elected to do, right, was such a pushback to that system. Yes. Now people are voting just to push back against him. And he might as exactly. well, he yeah. might as well work for the it. left. He yeah, might as well. That's exactly what the problem is. His name is good for the left, not yeah, the right. It's great for the left right now. My, I mean, my boss is right. Yeah. Everything. Everything right. But he hates Trump so yeah. much that he would up. vote Biden again. Really? Oh shit! Simply because he hates Trump. Me and that Wes much. talked a couple weeks ago. We both agreed if if Trump would just get behind a quality candidate like DeSantis, no, 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 no. He's got me on candidate. Sorry to no, cut you off. They're not quality and though. They, He's they getting behind bullshit. Like shut down. But if he would have not announced that he was running and instead of shitting on Ron DeSantis, uh, got behind DeSantis, they'd win in 2024 in a the landslide. Worst thing the worst thing that Yeah. The worst thing that'll happen is if Trump runs again. He is. Biden's going to win. Biden's going to win, and then we're going to have to start all over again yep. in 2028. It's all this trash time stuff he's doing, too. Yeah. It's all this, like, bullshit that he's, he's adding on yeah. after the fact, which which he's releasing the girl from Russia, uh, like we just talked the about. Brittany Griner shit. Brittany Griner, which is like, and, and okay, did you, and did you see great trade. The, the, the 4,000 page a lot in the end of this. fucking document that's going on right now, I forget. Fucking forget what it is. I, I don't want to talk out of my ass. I, I, like I don't want to know what I'm talking about. Speaking of the last cuss word I just let out, I have to get better because Felix is actually starting to repeat. <laughs> and and my man, my man was in a restaurant going, "What the fuck? What the fuck?" <laughs> Who's over that? and over? Who's saying that? You know, from from Felix. Felix. Who says that Who's in front saying, of him? He won't say uh, me probably. God damn. But oh, he won't. And he says that too. God damn. He but he was, hold he, on. If 
what? If y'all were in a restaurant and he just went, I was there. What the fuck? He won't if say he it looked to me. at his arm. <laughs> it's like what the fuck? He, he he won't say it in front of me. He only says it in front of Amanda and anybody else that doesn't give him any. Amanda gives him a little shit, but anyways, <laughs> he looked at. Uh, he was messing with the volume. I just I want to see other people's what reaction. The fuck? If, exactly. he looked, if he looked at his arm and was like, "What the fuck?" Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I understand. But if uh, he was putting up his volume up and down, up and down, right? And his cousins like, Felix, stop doing that. He turned around and said, "God damn it! What the fuck?" Wow. <laughs> and I was like, "Oh God." Ooh, oh, do you, like he you knows gonna, how to use it. Are you gonna spank him? I haven't, but I, I grab him by the collar, the front collar. Are you going to spank him? I mean, I, I, are you I, spank her? I've only done it playfully so far. I've only done it once where it was like it was seriously a serious situation with like a yeah. car and shit. And I was like, you need to listen. And well, I gave I know, him a whack. When, when my it wasn't anything were, crazy. When my girls were his age, we do like a smack on the hand. Yeah, I'll, I'll grab him by the collar. Just enough mm-hmm. for shock value. I've yeah, just enough yeah. like, hey. Knock it off. It's like, ah, you know, it's like it's a stunt, right? I've right. literally grabbed him just by his collar and like put him against the wall almost. My thing was, yeah. <laughs> he's two, I'm but always, it's just like to get his attention. You have to discipline your children. It's yeah. like, you have to it, 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 no, 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 it doesn't hurt him. It's there literally, are a lot it's of people that I know that, sh- that, that I wish they would just take their kid aside and jack him up one time. They'd you probably know, be awesome. You know, he doesn't cuss in front of ever. I've had, I barely, I never really have heard it. Me. It's because I, I just don't let it happen. Right. And it, and I know they don't have the same effect. Like, he loves his mama, but he knows mm-hmm. that he can get away certain things. And that's kind of how the balance should be, even though that, cuss, that cussing is, is at it's, the same it's time, wrong. Though, you're I got to fix it. On him. I know. Yeah. With, the, with the cussing. And that's why I'm trying to get better with it. Which, I quit smoking because of him. It's been, like, it's been, you know, over a year. Dude, I don't miss cigarettes at all. Only s- I see people so- hold- it looks so bad. Sometimes after a show, yeah. I want a cigarette. Yeah. Just one or half a one. I still haven't done it. But like when I see people driving down the road and they're doing one of these yep. numbers out the window, I'm like, you are I trash. Know, I, used to lo- I used to love listening to my songs and just going down the road smoking and being like, that sucks. <laughs> well, you're, you're your own worst enemy. You, no, I know, but I'm just saying. You like, recorded I, 20 years it. of good shit that no one will ever hear. Oh, because no, no, no. It's not good. It is good. You're just an idiot. No, no, no. It just doesn't sound good is what I'm saying. I hate to hear myself though. I I, I used to, but now I, I kind of jam my own shit. When you would. I, I enjoy I enjoy I, I if appreciate I'm like, if I'm in my car alone, what does it matter? I appreciate no no no. I I was always about listening to myself in my car and stuff. I loved it. But if someone played in front of like you know how it is. Oh, like, yeah. If someone plays I'm my shit, I, I I hate it. I like, like turn it off. Me. You know how it is. No, I don't. <laughs> well, you were at the party and you yeah, saw I, know, I, I, I I don't like it. You I mean, you clean but, up a little bit. But I, even I don't said, like it. Like, man, and I'm not I, here to show off when I'm not being played. Play. But if somebody plays your song because they like it without you knowing it, it's not showing off. That's fine. And that's what happened. But you're still like, ah, no, no, I don't want to ah, hear it. I didn't do that. This year's Christmas song is my favorite Christmas thing you've ever done. Oh, I know. Over C was song. Over all of it. Yeah. That's his favorite part over, of it. All I want for Christmas. I, the over two that, front teeth. All, over that. All this, I want for Christmas is my teeth. Oh, no. That's the Back best part Back in 95, <laughs> we didn't have Facebook. Right. Nine years old, yelling that babe's old enough to cook. <laughs> so stupid. It made Kenny, dude, I wrote Kenny's line in two minutes. I was Whoa. like, all right, all right, do this, do this. And it sounded like it, but it was funny. It's fine. I'm but, asked, no. I'm, I'm, I'm still, I'm still going to spend that record 10 I, times yeah, every yeah, Christmas. This it was fun. This year's song is awesome. It's really good. It, well, because this year I was like, I will don't say, go, up, don't go overboard. Just write a song. Write a this, song. This year's song is a song that you could actually hear on the radio. Yeah, like you, yeah. Could, you could actually like the other ones. Kids have been, like it. Yeah, I mean the one you did, the ones previous. They're always wild. They're always yeah. over to the, the and top. And they're kind of like parodies of other songs. A yes. Bit. This year was a true like, solid Christmas yeah. song. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I, I, I was very proud of it. To be honest, you actually could have, if you had good connections, you probably could have sold the song, made a lot of money. Maybe. It, it's the it's the whole like there's a light at the end of the tunnel like the year like that that makes a lot it resonates with a lot of people it's like there's a light at the end of the tunnel it's on top of the Christmas tree that's surrounded by family like that's wonderful you could see it that's like that's song. a great line I don't even know where it fucking came my, from my favorite line of the whole video is banging on cunt it's so <laughs> that funny. was funny but I had to make cl- dude I was supposed to beep that I was supposed to go bleak and everybody would have known what he what he said yeah, dude and it's I just still didn't, so funny though I didn't have a beep. So I just kind of just left it. I was like, "Fuck it, send it." Or, or when you were like, "I had to hear so much cut shit. down the tree and take him home." He goes, "Come here, bitch." I, I that thought, was so, uh, so funny. I forgot about. I miss that. that kid. Yeah, no, Bane's great. I've just been giving him time. He's he's got to like figure out, you know, find figure shit out, and and he has been. Yeah, over there. You we've got to go over there. And just I've been, dude. I was there two nights. We we did a scan of Felix's arm. 
Yeah. He's got a 3D like scan of it so we can like start building stuff and looking like titanium make, shit. make shit. Oh yeah. Well eventually titanium. Dude, titanium man, alloy. Dude, two days after his dad passed away, I was over there running an electric. I believe no, me, yeah, I've been yeah. there. You guys ran some fucking uh some janky ass electric, but thought it works. No, it works. That's it's, all I need. It's straight to the box. We're yeah. good. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so all last right. some 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 trash time um uh questions. If anything, what would make Christmas time better? That's a tough question because it's a really great time. We always think it's perfect, right? I'm going to go back to what I said earlier. I miss the family element. I miss the big family element. That shit just doesn't happen anymore because the, right. world, the world is just so busy. Everybody lives far apart, which is great. That's fine. It is what it is. But like, I will, like, my greatest memories are, are Sundays at my grandmother's, whether it was one or the other. We were either cooking out at one or I was having a formal dinner at the other one. Like, it is what it is. And I miss that shit. I miss watching but so, cartoons. But people and still play. do that. They do, but not like that, they used to. That's bro. what I'm saying. Like, what would make Christmas did. time better as a whole? Like, I, the, the, a big fam- I would love a giant fucking family dinner. I would think that. Um, th- God dang it. This is a side note. But I'll wait. And it was like, even the party at Jake's last weekend, it yeah. made me feel like a it's grown nice. up because there was a babysitter and all the kids were downstairs. And I went, they used to be me. Yeah. I used to be downstairs. Yeah, the one downstairs. While my parents and were it was still nice, adults. but it was still nice. It was still great because was they, great. you were you were like free to do whatever you wanted. They were upstairs; you could hear them. Right. You didn't know what they were doing. And at the end of the night, you know, uh, Natalie left. She was done babysitting, and the kids came up. Everybody was winding down. Was oh, great. Natalie was down there. Yeah, yeah oh, dude, she I was, had no idea. Yeah, dude, it was perfect. That was the great. That I, makes so much more sense. I was party. wondering why Sunny was down there alone. <laughs> I swear to God, really? I thought she was down there alone. With I want to like, do that shit like three times a year, like the the, the slacks, the ties. No, I, know, the I shirts. like it. It was great. It felt like a proper grown up party, and I was like, "Oh, I'm a grown up." Yeah, we have a New Year's Dude. Eve party. It's the same thing, dressed up. Wait, well, did Natalie leave with you? Are you, are you hosting? No, what? I'm not. No, no, someone else coming. Oh, uh, so oh, your uh, rich friends, your boss? No, no, we all know the person. Right, can I come? <laughs> I'm not part of, not part of the list. That, that was I, such a hard no. I don't care. A terrible Maybe. segue to know. No, I, to be honest, New Year's Eve is my least favorite holiday. I will be asleep by ten. No, Thanksgiving. That Thanksgiving's way worse. Thanksgiving, I actually agree. Thanksgiving's one of the no worst way, ones. It's the worst bro. holiday. Thanksgiving's um, one of my favorites. Such bullshit. I dig Thanksgiving. Thanksgiving's top three for me. It's a fucking lunch. <laughs> I agree. It's a luncheon. I agree. Dinner it's at two. Seconds by six. Oh, it's man, the worst food. Right. It's the worst food. Me and Wes are gonna write a song called Dinner by Two, and it's gonna be awesome. I like what that though. I, do I, like no, well, I was. I did this, but I was looking at you. <laughs> The bridge yeah. will be about dessert at eight. Yeah, you fucking ain't right. <laughs> and a hot, and for some reason, your grandmother had a pot of coffee ready to go. Who wants pot like of coffee? Decaf or regular? That's good. <laughs> I do like that. That's a good. That's a good idea. A, guys, a lot of a lot of people would disagree you, with this. You but have to stay on him to actually do the idea, though. We talk. He, he about? won't do it. You know how many ideas? He's talking about I, it right now, but he won't do it. You know how many great ideas I've suggested. I have never so many things to him. He'll never. He never does them. The best yeah. idea we all ever had was, was pep rally, and I me, know. And, me and Vinny had to go do it by ourselves with three people we didn't want to play with. Yep. So there's that. Oh, <laughs> shit. Well, that's out there, dude. They're solid it. though. They're, they're also solid. No, no, the band's great. Yeah, it I'm is not great. shitting on anybody, but yeah. it would be. I'm not gonna lie. It'd yeah. be a lot more fun if I was doing it with my fucking friends. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But who knows? That shit always kind of like ruins stuff. When you get into like picking battles You're of right. songs, you never, and you never go into business or with your friends. That's what they say. It, it gets hard. It always. Well, f- I can tell you right. That would have been our number one issue. Songs? Because no, the business. Oh, yeah. Why? Because I would have drove that thing way more like a business than you guys do. Oh yeah. Well, no, oh, you, no, you would have. Steve has tried. I, I would. Yeah, he's I would have turned he's gotten it. Gotten the kibosh. He's yeah. gotten the kibosh of like pushing you guys up more. No, no, because we didn't want to join a booking agency. We didn't want to. No, yeah. And we didn't. So that, I mean, COVID fucked us. And the booking agency and is living necessary. living down here fucked us. The booking agency is necessary. If, if it we takes all that shit we, off your back. If we would have joined Starly, we'd be playing Ocean City and Baltimore yes. and, and all that shit. But money. We, we wanted to play this band once no, or twice a month. That's yeah. it. That's it. You could tell them that. It ain't going to happen. No, and that's why we have uh, all the other members of the band are in different bands and they can yeah. go do their thing. Cause and that motherfucker was, takes cut too, so it's like yeah, yeah that's on, another bro. thing. Like, it's like, come on, bro, <laughs> get your hundred bucks, right? But Chill, dude. How many? I mean, he's got like exactly five bands. He's exactly. making that much money a weekend. That's Multiply it, dude. Bro. It, it's a, it's, it's a, it's a, it's bullshit. Is what it's a it is. racket. It's a racket. You have to go through him, dude. The, 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 I, I never. I don't want if you guys start doing that. Huh? Wes could do it. 
if yeah. oh he could but it's, but it's bullshit who cares like it's not well, fun he actually it's could. awful he actually yeah. could he could do it he could but like I'll help you you want to do it and, there, there, no. and there's other people that are cut. <laughs> no you know why because other people are doing it there's get the gig there's more there's people Gary, trying to do it now there's all kinds of shit that's, that's, what, we're ta- that's what we're talking about right that and you be uh, he really does have the worst job it sucks like you're somebody's pissed off all the time Right. You're either trying to get Canceling. the band, you're getting the band, you're trying to get the band more money so the club's annoyed by you, or the band is mad because they want more money and the club won't give it to you. Like, you're always the, the bad guy on some side. So, right. you're right. And then there's bands canceling. Like, All, we legit that's had what issues. We get, that's when we get fun phone calls. Oh, yeah. B- bands cancel at big, at, at, we say big uh, venues when they call us. Yeah. I mean, <laughs> whatever. Hey. Is Rick's on the river really close? Are they done? Fuck that place. That place is so yeah. far. Dude, they fucked up and wrote us the biggest check we ever got as a band. That's funny. <laughs> Have you heard about that? Mm-hmm. Dude, they, they came to us and they were like, it's this much, right? We went, uh-huh. Uh-huh. <laughs> yep. It sure is. It is. <laughs> yes, it is. It always has been. And we agreed to like almost half of what they wrote the check for. <laughs> uh, it was two thirds. Was it two thirds? Yeah. I don't even remember. I just remember I had like, it was the biggest payday. I got like... When when I got Venmo, it was like over two hundred dollars. I was like, "All right then." He's probably good. laughing at that. That's so <laughs> so two hundred bucks. He's like, so Bruh. If, "If I was, hey, yeah, but they grinded for a decade." No, I know. I mean, I, no, we're on year three. Like, I get it, but so if and we raised if our prices was, and nobody winked an eye at it. So. They shouldn't. You were already low. Go ahead. If if I was the agent, yeah. in that situation, like you guys would have, Steve would have sent me. Yep. How much you got paid? Uh, like. My fifteen percent right. of what you got paid, right? And I'd have been like, "What happened here? This ain't right, right?" And he would say, "Oh, well, they wrote us a check for this much," and then I would have called Ashley right there, right? Just like, from long term business perspective, right? Like it's not a good look. She wasn't there though, so that's what happened. Yeah. <laughs> she left. The, whoever was running the show was like, "It's it's eight, 18? Yep, sure is eighteen. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that would have been great. Eighteen? Yeah. Oh. Uh- we, and, that would have been awesome. We, but the thing is, it's like we were, we were, we only raised our prices because all the sound guys in the area have raised their prices through the fucking roof, bro. Yes. So I was like, I'm okay with leaving with 150 dollars every weekend. I don't give a shit. It's fine. It's beer money. It's play money. I get to blow it on no, Dixon, right. Dixon flannels and whoa, what? And, and, whoa. <laughs> hey, and, dog, what? Hey, hey, and, hey. and nine dollar penguins. Me, what the fuck? Yeah. <laughs> Ninety dollar penguins. It, well, it was it was twenty. That it was, was a good conversation. It was That's hilarious. hilarious. It was hilarious. It was, but chill, Captain but, Morgan. I had my knee way up. Yeah, yeah that was way hilarious. up. Way Dude, up. he was like almost to the camera. <laughs> yeah, it's all and, good. Uh, no one has ever talked about. It. Go ahead. I know, but I, so just us being so no, far in the country that. affected. I got a sneeze so bad. Affected. Us being so far in the country. <laughs> We're so deep in the heart of USA. No, no but I don't. <laughs> I, don't I want to try. I want to go to Baltimore once, like every other month. I don't want like you have to. You Pearl Harbor me on Nagasaki. How was your Ten Roof show? Huh? You played Ten Roof yet? How was that? It was it was great. We filled uh, it. It was fine. But did I we, hate we that. Do you hate up? that place? Yeah. We, we you got to play straight through. Dude, it's bullshit. None of their dude. We yeah, ended up playing up. through. We ended up playing through wedges. Their whole sound system was broken, and the sound guy couldn't figure it out. Wires yeah. were frayed. Everything was bullshit. I, I was like, letting pack up probably. There was no mains. Yeah, like, dude, literally. We, we what did you use? Our wedges. As mains? Yes. Yeah, uh, they just spun them around on the yep, front of the that's stage. That's what happened. It was, so, it was embarrassing. <laughs> oh, but, that probably sounded like shit. But Tin Roof was the busiest bar and power plant that night because we were there. It is what it is. Uh, I, I was, people are drunk enough, I guess. And now, <laughs> we. I feel like we started the band too early and then COVID <laughs> happened. And now there's like four bands on Starly that do exactly what we do and aren't doing as good no, as... No, there's, as there's as always we, been... Right? No, 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 not... Dude, I'm talking about the Not, deep, I'm talking about the deep cuts that we play. They're yeah. like they're, our set lists are like identical, and it's like infuriating. Whoa! I would that no no, no that mean, word. Well, one I, I know for a fact you guys are way better than any of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. solid, very solid. Technically better yeah. than any yeah, of them. Yeah. I would put us up against and, just about and, anybody. And honestly, but I like think, there's bands from New York that are doing what we doing, and they're playing like Baltimore sounds. No, stage. no slight to anybody in the band, but if I got to do a power ranking. I, I'm thinking like Steve and Sean are really up there, and honestly, his voice kind of holds up really well longevity wise throughout the set because it, it's pretty hard to sing. A lot of those songs are pretty tough the whole time. 
So, I mean, you guys are right. You guys got three guys. We right all here. compliment each other very well. Me and Vinny's harmonies, I would put up against uh, anybody. Now, now Vinny's harmonies have gotten better over the years. They're wouldn't great. Put, wouldn't put them up against anybody. Well, very good harmonies, here, though. I, I was actually very surprised with Vinny. Right? I thought it was super surprising. And, oh, and Randall. With the screams. Comes out so effortlessly. Looks yeah. very goofy, but it does sound very good. Yeah. Now, the thing I'm going to say about that is, like, skill-wise, Sean and Steve are good yep. players. I think they're like... It takes, it takes all five of them to visually yes. make it work. Yes. I finally morphed because into a front man, too. It took a while. Randall and Vinny do fit the look. Of mm-hmm. the sound, yeah, but far more yeah. than yes. Sean and Steve. Oh, you're yep. absolutely right. Yep, Sean and Steve. Yep, it sounds great. Yep. Yeah, but but they, they, could, they could be they could be playing behind a curtain and nobody would miss them. They're not visually. They're not adding not to the, the show. Vinny at all because actually he, he does well, well no. plays well. No, no, no. He's, he's always been solid. Like you'd Barry. be like, hey, play this on an acoustic, and he'd Vin, be like, Vinny is always a solid. What's the word I'm looking for? Not lead rhythm guitar player. He's yeah. always been. Sol- he's not a lead guitar. He knows he's not a lead guitar player. He'll yeah. tell you that. Not. It's not a slight. But, it, but he also could be if he wanted to. I think if he if he tried hard enough. But I I I feel like I need. He takes a lot of pressure off me vocally. <laughs> a ton. Is Wes just over there bored shitless? Yeah, that's why I turned the ball. Sorry, Wes. I mean, it's your about your band again. No, like no one cares. I know nobody. But cares. we but like to talk about it. Yeah, no, it's I like, like I like three. the I like the band talk, but it's just been going for like fifteen minutes. Yeah, so it's, like, I know. Okay, it's been like You're three. Right. You fucking asshole. No, like no yeah. Move it on. Well, you uh, know what on. I was gonna say? Some I don't even remember how it started, but I was gonna say to make Christmas better. Mm. Thank you. And oh, that so nice so many so many people. Shut the fuck up, Wes. <laughs> so many people no will disagree with this. But all the online. Shopping needs to go away. Ooh. So think but about like think about how it. much I get it. It's very convenient. Yeah. But think about how much Christmas spirit when you went how out. much how much time Ooh. is now gone right. from Christmas. When you went you out just, to go get bam 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 bam. I want to be here Thursday. Store after store and trying to find the right gift. You finally find it. You're like, oh. Like even like and Black then, Friday then you're out there anymore. and you're out there five six hours and you end up hitting all these other stores that you weren't planning on going to. Right now. Now you got some Christmas drink in your hand. You got snacks. You got a pretzel or some and, like. There's a whole thing. Yeah, you're, you and, know what? That does sound kind of tight. And, 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 and at this age group, and and if if that was still a thing, <laughs> no, no, because of me. If that was still a thing, like yeah. at this point, we'd probably have a day where yep, we'd all go. Yeah, I, our our we used to do a youth group thing where we went for the church. We would we'd all go together, all the teens, and we go to a big mall and we shop for family all together. Your family would give you money, and um, I used to spend a little bit on me. That's how I got that live <laughs> Mark, Tom, and Travis uh, show. <laughs> I remember I used a little bit of money for that, and then I was like, I, I mean, I gotta get some for me. I'm doing all the shopping out here. <laughs> I was gonna one give. I, I remember I bought. In. I remember I bought my mom like this. It was a picture. Oh, dude, I feel so bad. But my mother hung it in her dining room for years. Now here, here I go. It was a picture of go. like it was a picture of like a waterfall area. There it is. See, yep. there it is. What you said? Here, here I go. go. And here I, I go. Here I go again. Here I go uh, again. So it was a picture of like this waterfall area, this nice scenic area. And then it had like a mirror frame. I and know then, what you're talking about. And then it freaking had the sound of a waterfall. Which <laughs> Hold on, hold on. Which actually sounded like someone was just peeing. And like, oh, dude! And it's like what you would expect it, like a Afghani some Asian fucking... guy peed. It, it, it <laughs> wasn't like a stream of water. It was like a tiny stream. Like it sounded like someone was peeing. And my mom would turn it on in her dining room, and I'd just be like, fuck. <laughs> I bought that for her. Like, cause like over the years, it got more and more like pee. Like in the beginning, I was like, oh, this is great. My mom's gonna love it's a this. It's babbling brook. But she liked it. She hung it there and had a little light frame. And you know why she liked it? Because it came from It you. came from me. Exactly. exactly. That's you what could, I'm saying. Like, it could have been anything. There's a lot of things you over. There's a, there's a lot of things you overlooked that your parents do growing up, and you're just like, damn, that was nice. So well, think I mean, about think this, of, right? Yeah. When Felix gives you something that he like drew or something. You're right. But you legitimately, I love it. Like yeah. my daughters are giving me something I'm like, no, this is dope. I yeah. want this. Like, give it to me. I, I love feel it. him so much. But like friends, like you're like, oh, that's stupid, right? Yeah. If I see your kid draw something, I'm like, I don't care what Cohen drew. Yeah. You know, right. that's stupid. Yeah. Arbor draws the same thing. Oh, I love this. You know what I mean? Yep. Like, well, it's yep. because well, it's, you're gonna say it's, it's your plasm or yeah. plasma. Exactly. You know. Yeah, okay. Your main plasma. <laughs> Go ahead. I forgot what I was. Gonna okay. Say. <laughs> I will suggest one thing. What's it's that? super creepy and super dumb, but I will just sit there and I'll just film Felix. Because one day, one day I'm going to sit there and enjoy that I did that. 
because I'm gonna sit there and just watch him, and I'll be old man, and it'll be the most random, candid video yeah. of him just doing something stupid, which I did recently. He was just pulling off the tops of these like little grain things and just chucking them. And it eventually became something. I got something good out of it, but like I was just doing it to film him doing that stuff. That's the only good part of Facebook. <sighs> it's is Facebook memories. Yeah. Dude, you're yeah. so right. And that's what I that's what I was talking about today was like I have like this trove of videos and pictures of him that he'll see one day and be like, Man, he loved yeah. me to death. It was and it's proof right in the pudding, right there. He could see it all. In the pudding. We talked yep. about this too though. <laughs> But it's going to be cool for him one day. In the pudding. When he's like 60 years old. Yes. And he can go back and look at your life. Exactly. So. He can see the whole thing. Yeah. He can see when I was just thinking something. He's st- going to see your shitty ass that's email another, haircut. That's I know. But that was that's everybody. And his tight ass jeans and yeah. wow. Like, what was dad wearing? Jeez. Why look was my dad was wearing a beanie for three years? <laughs> <laughs> he didn't wear it. Yeah, yeah, he didn't wear it. Dude. Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> there was these pants that they warned me about. What have you done tonight, friend? I wore these. Right, no, no, no. I wore these khaki pants one time, Dude. and those two across the room. Vinny goes, "Look at Mike's helmet. Look at Mike's helmet. <laughs> you can see your whole cock. <laughs> your whole dick." Speaking of that, when I, I never when wore I went pants again, dude, they were fucking hilarious. When I went pee earlier, and I was standing out there by the porch, yeah. my hog in my hand, it reminded me of the windmiller. Oh, the windmiller. When I asked for names, Wes has never seen the windmiller. <laughs> I'm open to seeing it though. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and the funny thing is, you had a man to film it. You made yeah. your wife film yeah. it. Yeah, oh, he has it. He has it. Dude, so the, best, it. the best part is that he just reaches over and grabs his glass of whiskey mm-hmm. in the middle of it. <laughs> I don't miss a beat with it spinning. Wait, isn't he grilling? Isn't he grilling something? No, 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 no. Oh. I was, but you can't see it. Oh, I was okay. just doing this, and I, I grabbed a drink with it like this, and then put it back. <laughs> Mike's big hog like hit him in the chin. He's like Stop. spinning around. Nah, it wasn't. It's pretty big. All the blood was going to the tip though. It's not purple like that. It's definitely purple most of the time. <laughs> you can freeze frame it. Yeah. <laughs> freeze frame. Freeze frame. Yeah. Yeah. See? Yeah. See? Yeah. See? Yeah. See? I'm telling you, man. Damn it. He was out immediately when no, I, I said. When I said. What I said. What I said was purple. He went. Yeah, can he turn around? <laughs> he was out. Yeah, you, guys are, yeah. you guys are all loving his purple helmet. And I'm like, yeah. It was because of the blood, bro. There's only, a, there's only a purple ring. He's got a big old German soldier down there. It's okay, fine. all right. Good. All right, so uh, moving on. <laughs> Lastly. Keep moving on. Yeah. Now, now have you now ever it's been fired? All the truth. Was there ever a bad Trust. experience you guys were fired? I've never been fired from a job. Ooh. I, got yeah, I. I got threatened one time. Yeah. But... I, it was after. Uh, He's thinking about it. it was I was thinking about my Del Taco when I like, You were a shitty teenager. I was a really. Oh, bad when you were yeah. Del Taco on the base. Yeah. Yeah. You got fired. Uh, Not coming in. Actually, you know what? I did get fired when I worked at Food Line. I swear to God, this is a true story. What food kit? In the one shot hole. Yeah. So this is a. I true, there too. This is a true story. We're giving I, shit away for free. Everything I say to you is going to be accurate and 100 percent honest. I'm listening. Well, I would hope so. I was in high school. I was a. Bullshit. And we were all in high school when we worked at Food Line. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, except at, for Phil and Curtis. And when you worked at Food can I tell a story? I mean, you can you get to the guy that looked like an Indian chief? Yes. Goatee. We used to call him chief. Yep. yep. All right, go ahead. <laughs> Anyways, so when you get a certain amount of money in your drawer, they like to take it to the safe. Mm, yep. They said, hey, Wes, pull your 20s, whatever you it was. No, I put it in my apron. Put it in my. Oh, they make you wear this Your little thing. You worked cashier. You put it. I put it in my little thing. Whatever it was. Like yeah. something frozen food. Slam. I forgot to give it to. So I checked out. Like this was like three hours later, right? I give him my till. Oh, my money. Whatever. Three is your change. Can I? Can I? Can I? Yeah, sorry. Go, sorry. Go ahead. Yep. Yep. Story? Yep. Yep. Okay. So, anyways, <laughs> give him my till. I get in my car. I go home. Reach in my apron. You dumb bitch. There's like eight hundred dollars in it. You're in it. You did on purpose. You did on purpose. No. I tell the story. You know he kept that shit. No, I went back, immediately went back. I was like, hey, I got this $800. Yeah. Okay, we'll count it, blah, blah, blah. Suddenly, $200 goes missing because the girl inside there oh, that I gave the money to, I forget what her name is. Oh, you fucked up. But she definitely stole the money. I didn't steal any money. 100% did not steal any money. If I stole it, I'd tell the story now 20 years later. <laughs> yeah, 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 true. But I'm like, I didn't take any money. I got fired for that. I mean, I stole literally, money. Oh, no. I have literally told the story of, yes, she was, she she was the one that sucks. She was the one that fired you? No, no, she her, saw an opening. But she was an assistant manager. Yeah, yeah. And the manager fired she me. She saw an opening. Yeah. Took it. Yeah. Um, I was so team. bitter. You should have killed Dude. her. <laughs> what, did, what did you do at Food Line? Uh, produce. 
I worked with um, I work with Critter's aunt, I believe. Yeah, she worked in there, and then I worked with Phil. Our the I, big bad dude. It Phil? was like a couple of weeks. Our friend, I, I unloaded trucks. Our friend, um, uh, Beth Stain, her current boyfriend. Yeah, used to work there. He would sell me packs or cartons. Yeah, of cigarettes. Of Parliament menthol lights for fifty fucking cents for the whole carton. <laughs> That doesn't even make sense, actually. Why he would, would he do that? He would, ring, he would ring up. He would hit the miscellaneous oh, button. Oh, 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 oh. 50 cents. He'd go, here you go. Out yeah. the door I went. I mean, they caught on eventually. Oh, yeah. I mean, <laughs> but when, now he worked, when, he, when he worked at Burstmart, I would get like three foot long subs. And he'd go, eh, give me a quarter. Yeah. I will also <laughs> say, when I worked at Fulon, was the first time I ever smoked weed and went back to work. Oh, how, dude, how it fun is that? No, it was horrible. What? Yeah. I was missing scanning stuff like nonstop. I was like, I'm never doing this again. Never doing this again. Oh, like, you were in bitch mode. I got. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah. I mean, this cashiers a, are different. This is right? a good topic. Let's got, let's go. I got drunk one night. You were a yeah. cashier. I know. God, I was losing my mind. Like having to put vegetable numbers in. Like what yeah. number is that? You were like, like what a segue. <laughs> mm, <and> sour cream. <laughs> mm. In my early in my early twenties, when y'all were playing like Rockstar, you were in one too many. You were doing the CYB <laughs> Death Among Heroes thing. Playing Rockstar, yep. <laughs> one too many. Yeah. Like I was, dude. I was operating a forklift overnight. Yep. At pe- at Pepsi, we would take. This our guy lo- waited one too many years to start a band. Right. Exactly. <laughs> we, me and a dude that I used to work with at Pepsi named Chris, we would go to Vino's over by the Walmart oh, heck La Plata. Yeah. yeah. And drink on our fucking lunch breaks because yeah. our lunch was from nine to ten. Oh. Nine to ten. Ugh, we would come back hammered. Silly. You know how fun forklifts are when you're fucking yeah. drunk. I know how fun working so is. So much when you're fun, drunk. dude. So well, much fun. You were talking, I loved it. You were talking about smoking. No, 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 no. At work, it's about drinking you gotta get at lunch. Buzzed. You gotta get buzzed. Oh, you yeah. come back ready to fucking make deals, and you don't even make deals. <laughs> <laughs> you're like, all right. You want this frozen pizza? Yeah. Yeah. There you, go. I, you can sell anything, dude. Ketchup Mad popsicle, Man, all that that madman bullshit, like back in the sixties or whatever, yeah. and they were just drinking all the time. That's, I would totally put that in my office. That's why they did it. I'd put that whole rack in my office. It should be there. It should be. Just don't download the whole business's server. I don't think that's. A, oh, <laughs> God! You know, I didn't want to do any editing. Sorry. Yeah, that, that's slipped. two things. What, what was the other one? There was one immediately about uh, something. Uh, it doesn't matter. Anyways, moving on. There, you should totally be able to have liquor if you have an office. You should be able to have liquor in it. Dude, there's nothing wrong with having a little nip at lunch. There's the nothing wrong days. with that. No, no, no. There's nothing wrong with that today either, bro. We, we have liquor in our office. Anybody that's going to have liquor in their office knows how to handle themselves. When, right? it, gets like, yeah. when it gets like three or four o'clock, it's very common in our office to see a couple loan officers yep. pull out a drink or drink right there. That's fine. Ain't nothing wrong with it. I, you know, I, if, if I'm the owner, nothing wrong with if it. If I'm typing in my office at three or four in my house, it's un, it's not uncommon to have a fucking bottle of whiskey now, next to me. Now, the sleaze ball that used to work for my company would invite all. Only the girl assistant project managers into his office for drinks. I was literally next door that guy's and wasn't sh- invited. That's good. You know what? He's the worst. His sons are the worst, especially with the ponytail. I kick, I kick all three of their asses. <laughs> all three of them at the same <laughs> I time. I kick all three. At the same fucking time. If you time. raise three boys and one man can kick all three of their asses, you fucked up. I mean, you. but are you wrong? No. Nope. Yep. Nope. Not at all. I could literally kick all their asses. And the dad. At I remember touching. Time. Dude, there was one time we met up and I touched the guy's arm. It was like, it felt, it probably felt like this. It, it shouldn't feel that cold. This one. It felt ice. No, it was actually colder. It was colder than both of those. It was ice thing. cold to where I, I touched him again. I grabbed his arm again. I said, why are you so cold? I couldn't believe it. I was drunk. Why but are I was you like, such a I was bitch? Like, I kept grabbing his arm. I was like, why are you cold? <laughs> you could, this is my fault. I was like, I couldn't believe it. It I blew hate, my mind. I hated when, like. What, what, would be th- what would that be, though? Like. Poor circulation. Bitch. Yeah. Made him Vitamin K. I mean, his arm felt freezing. He had an iron deficiency? Yeah, he had something. Oh, I want to slap him. Like, I, I love... You might have diabetes. I was like, if you're ever around me that cold again, I swear. <laughs> <laughs> it hasn't happened Man, in a while. Just shit up for you. Yeah, come yeah, talk yeah. to me. I'm I used not to, hot. I'm I used hot. to love getting invited, like, when you guys would do the suite or whatever. Yeah. But when those two motherfuckers walked in, I would go, God damn it. That dude, that dude made fun of me. I had I had a little phone clip one time. I put my phone on it. Yeah. It's a little weird. I mean, you did wear a phone. <laughs> yeah, I, it's a little weird. It and is he, what it he is. He though, made fun of it that I was like, "Bitch, right?" <laughs> I bitch, <laughs> we're out for the night, right? Hanging out here. I gotta wear the clip the rest of the night. You don't say shit about my clip. I would never <laughs> like question no. him with it, yeah. and and told it, yeah. bitch, bitch, <laughs> bitch. And now, and you know what? Now your dad's going to jail. So fuck you. Uh, prison. Yeah, that's, that's same thing. We can't talk about that. We, yeah, that's like actually you can't talk about it. 
But fuck just, just go back to being drunk at work stories. Yeah, yeah no, I agree. Yeah, 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 yeah. Being drunk at work rules. And it was also it was also great because uh, that guy would. I feel said, more motivated too. That same sex a thing, so it helps. That same piece of shit would invite everyone to go do Top Golf on company time, except for you and Amanda. Fam, no, the entire family right. of the owner. Because he was doing shady shit. I mean, dude, you're gonna get it in the ass. So I can't quick. wait. Oh, it's gonna be so good. I, I can't wait. To, I can't wait for it to all go down, and me and Chet have a big giant steak and laugh. Should about talk it. about this, but yeah, when it when it does go down, all of it comes out. I can't wait. No, you're right. What? But talking about this. When yeah, I'm, you're right. When I, mean, I was in college, for real. It's like yeah. it's like a movie. It's like movie. Where'd you hear? You in Salisbury? Yeah. yeah. When I was at Salisbury, I, I worked at uh, I worked at Pac Sun in the mall. What mall? The yeah, the, the Salisbury one, Mall. The one with the big giant movie theater out there? All right, got you. The, I think my shift was five to nine, four to nine, five to nine, something like that. Started playing beer pong at noon. Got hammered. The <laughs> Went to work. And oh. I walked in. My boss was like, yeah, take that new box of shirts, fold them, put them on the front table. Oh, what well, a day. We Easy. always got, you always get a break. Yeah. Like a 15-minute break. Mm -hmm. So I'm like, I go over there. I'm like, Tim, dude, can I take my break? And he's <laughs> like. Bitch, it's nine o'clock, right? <laughs> he's, yeah, yeah, he's like, yeah, it's eight o'clock. Wait, wait, fifteen more minutes, we'll be closed. I'm like, what? He's like, you've been folding the same box of shirt for four hours. You oh drunk my bitch. god! <laughs> he knew I was hammered. Ah, he's just like, how Jesus. Much, how much shit did you steal from that pack, son? Let's be honest. That one, none. Really? That one. Yeah. My ex girlfriend. Waldorf, yeah. Oh, dude, my ex girlfriend used to work at the American Eagle at the mall. Dude, I got new shit all the time, and then it finally came out that she was stealing shit. <laughs> oh, which one was that? Well, the, the I know, I didn't know. The one before my ex wife. Yeah. 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 Uh, I growing up when I was like 15, 16, 17. <laughs> yeah, did you see that? He went. <laughs> I because I, I don't want to tell, but I do. <laughs> but I do want to tell. I stole so many CDs from the Christian books. We yeah, see yeah, this one day. I know, I, know, I, know, I, know, I know, but it's crazy. And you stole video games from Target when you worked there. Only one. Red Dead Redemption. Yep, only Red Dead. Seventy dollar game because one day they let us all work in the in the. Uh, <laughs> so bad. They let us all work in the entertainment center or the or whatever that is. What's where it's at? Where the games and all that shit. Electronics. Yeah. Electronics. Thank you. They let us work in there for one day. Where's the thing with the they thing? Need, they <laughs> they, they needed help. And you saw your opening. They, everybody came over to help. And I was like, this is it. I want Red Dead Redemption. And we're putting stuff away. And I was like, put this on the shelf. Like some shelf behind a pillow. Damn, that's good. On the other side of electronics. And I was like, put things away. And then I got it after work. Came back. I got to go to the bathroom. Go when I was me. getting off, signing off. Grab it. Go to the back bathroom. Put it in my pants. Leave. God. I'm nervous that you walking out though. Nah, dude, I, I, I don't know what it was. You, when you're he like, just tucked it behind his hog and. <laughs> no, there's like there's red like hog redemption. Red hog redemption. You weren't nervous at all. I think there's just some point, bro, where you don't care. Like there is some point with certain people where, if you're broke, broke, and like have you just don't care. You're like whatever happens, happens. I want this He's shit, got a point. and I'm taking it. When I worked That's in the like grocery stores, gun, right, Wes? What? Why you carry a gun? Yeah. Certain Some people, people don't, don't care. care. Dude, when, I know it's absolutely true. When I first started working for Pepsi and I was in like the grocery stores yeah. and I was like my late teens. Dude, if you're in a grocery store for like two hours stocking shit, building like displays and shit, you get hungry and thirsty. I would go straight to those motherfucking coolers at the front of every grocery store, grab a Pepsi and a Snickers bar and just walk away. Yep. I did it probably at every day for like three years. That's awesome. Wow. I mean, it's, at the you're end a piece of, day, of shit, you know that? I know. <laughs> You kidding. stole literally over, hundreds of dollars. Yeah. In over time, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, dude. That's over a thousand Snickers, man. It's, Let, hold on, let's be honest. <laughs> That's grand theft. Do you, oh, uh, do you do any grocery shopping for your family <laughs> or does Lauren felon. take care of that? Yeah, we, we, Lauren does majority of it, but I do it sometimes. All right, this actually happened a couple weeks ago. I went to the food line in Charlotte Hall, and I got a 12-pack of caffeine-free Coke Zero. I threw it on the bottom of the cart. Man. And the girl that rang me up didn't notice it, and I forgot about it, and I walked out, I walked out with the 12-pack. And I went, you know what? She didn't see it. I'm that keeping this. That shit. This is just, this is cannon fodder. I, 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 I get this. That was this. a coupon. Dude, yeah. he said yeah. cannon yeah. fodder. I get this. What a word. What two words. It happens sometimes. If you put like TP on the bottom of the, of the, of the cart and they don't see it, that's free TP, dog. That's, it is. That's cane hotter. Right. Yeah, yeah, yep, yep. Cane fodder. Can we take a pause so I can go pee or something? Fane cotter. We had to take a little break, a little pee break. Um, I didn't tell you all that's all sawed out there. You remember how that wasn't grass when you yeah. last time you were here? Dude. Forget so Did you see that wall? Mm-hmm. Pretty nuts, huh? Yeah. Nice. <laughs> Anyways, no one cares. Uh, <laughs> you know, you know, I mean, you're, you're, the party. You know you're old when you get to a certain point. Every time I look at that wall, I'm like, so much money. 
right? Every That's time. That's literally what I think. We so know. Much money. We know. Yeah, how much money I know you guys know more than all of us. It sucked. No, dude, pull- trust me. We would love to spend that money on something else. Every time I pull in my driveway, I go, "That's not a lot of money." <laughs> 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 yeah. Oh, that is funny. Oh god, nah, dude. It's let's not but, for me, Trudy. Goddamn. No, 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 this, but when you reach in your pocket, you're like, "Oh, there's some money." No, yeah. no, no, that's no, not no. true. He, he always does this. This guy. This guy. I don't want to get started. I don't want to get started. I'm broke as fuck, bro. He's a guy. You know what? There was this. There was this. Okay, so you know. Why did you say it's so gay just now? There was this. There was this. He did. I didn't hear it like that. I didn't either. So yeah, on Reddit, you have different subreddits, obviously. And there's this one about home home audio systems. TS about- on FM. Sure. And uh, it's like about speakers and whatever else. And so this guy posts this picture. And he's like, I know it's not a lot, but like, this is my new setup. And to me, it's like, dude, fucking just enjoy what you have. Yeah, like, 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 you have something. Yeah. Like, because this guy, and then he's talking about how like he lived, like, he didn't even have a house years a couple of years ago. And then I kind of like t- started talking to him. I was like, same, bud. I used to be in a van. Yeah. No, I know dude, what it's like. Every time it's I walk like, enjoy what you fucking I have. take a nice deep breath and go, this is mine. Just have it's pride in what mine. you have. It's mine. Yep. I don't care how big it is. Yep. It's enough for me and Trudy. Everything's good. We're fine. Yep. Life's all yeah. right. I, I live by that. Yeah. I don't care how big it is. It's mine. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody likes it. Somebody, Somebody likes it. it. <laughs> That's hilarious. Uh, okay. But anyways. That's too funny. <laughs> Is it too funny? But yeah, Wes, you, you, you did say you were trying to build a house right now. And I know you, how long have you been in the rental by now? Since July. So you're, Isn't it awful? Do you regret yeah. selling your house? Heck no. Let, let him talk himself. Well, he, he hasn't finished the journey yet, let dog. Let him talk himself. Yeah, you know what? I'm about mean, to segue there, you outside. There has definitely been some regret. There's been some points where I was like, dude, we should have just stayed in that yeah. joint. I loved your but, house. You should have just stayed in nah. it. Nah. But I mean, this one, this one is gonna be. Oh, it's gonna be the first. When it's all done, yeah. right? It's gonna be worth it. Yeah, but, but uh, so this d- period d- right now sucks. Well, he doesn't know yeah. yet. He well, doesn't know yet. It was worth it. No, this absolutely. is all part of the journey. <laughs> Jamie is. Jamie's That's why like, you do it. Jamie's like, I want to be involved. Like, I want to. Let's talk about this. Like, show me how you're doing that. Like, Jamie I, I want to see micromanaging. I want to see how things are built, and I'm like. No, stay yeah. over there. Yeah. This gonna suck. Yeah. this is going to suck for oh, me. What right. are you doing? I'm gonna be miserable. What part you are you enjoy doing? whatever you can. What are Wes you? What part are you doing? The the yeah, I'm GCing the whole joint. Oh, so you're getting all the work and everyone to come in and, and do all the shit. Yeah, it's when you stress. What, you what out. are you doing by yourself though? Are you doing anything by yourself? Like no, you I, was, I was planning on doing some, and then both the guys I work with, my boss and another Fuck guy, that. they're like. Dude, you're going to spend yep. so much time. Yep. You're going to be over there every afternoon yep. cleaning up yep. after everybody else and just looking around, inspecting what happened today, what's happening tomorrow. Like, don't even try to do something yourself. Yeah, that's that's awful water. But yeah, we'll get, I mean, we'll get down to the end. I'm sure I'll do some, some finished work. Yeah, like nice work when but... do you think you're going to be in there? I haven't even broken ground yet. I know this. Yeah, I'm, nobody else knows this. Fucking asshole! I, wow, I Wes think, gave you a look, and dog. I looked right back at I him. Mean, he's stupid staring fuck. you down. Any, anybody with any common sense, yes, knows that it's a stupid question. Yeah. No, it's not. It's a, no, it's not. Okay. <laughs> Wes, don't answer the question. I would, I would say July, no, no. July best. Of That's great. Of twenty-three. It's gonna be late yeah. on that. Oh damn! No way. No That's fact. high hopes. No at best, I'm gonna say I'm probably October. Living. <laughs> Damn. Well, I am. <laughs> Fight him. I am well, looking at. the county's out. a pain in the ass to do anything with. But he's right. already got the permits and shit. No, I don't have he permits yet. Oh. But Is there anything perked yet? Uh, but I, yeah. All right. Well, that's plus. But. How many acres I'm in is it? 15. Fuck yeah. Dude, I can't. Will you set up that's a shooting awesome. range? That's awesome. Yeah, I'm going to have a shooting range. Hollywood, Where is right? It? Hollywood. Yeah, right. Hollywood's nice. I'll be All right on the back of, side of Dorsey Park. Oh, so over by, over, over by, uh, over uh, by uh, Moe's mom. Uh, I'll be past her. Don't she's, ask, she's right before Dorsey so Park. I'm right. Don't ask her for of, no scraps. She'll be mad about it. Will it all? Will it? Is, will it be off of two forty five or Macintosh? Two forty five. It's off of two forty five. It's literally like you pass the entrance to Dorsey Park. Is the very next road. Oh Jesus right. Christ! So she is right there. Oh yeah, yeah. she's the all road. The right. She's all the, the right. Not she's the, the, the road before Dorsey Park. Right. I'm right past Dorsey okay. Park. Everyone else is on the right. Okay. She's oh she's on the right too then yeah yeah. Decline. Yeah, 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 yeah. Decline lives down there. But um, uh, when no, I was no, when no, I was no, living no, in that when I was living in that <laughs> when I was living it's over with there you, by our old apartment. Yes, when I was living with you in that old apartment, we were poor as hell. Yeah, dude, we were. And broke. I remember going we had heat. 
I met to, I met Mo at his his mom's house where he lived, and she made spaghetti and stuff. Judy. Bro, I had a little plate, and she was mad about it. I had to hear about it. I was like, God damn. I ain't never met nobody like that. I was like, fuck. <laughs> I felt start bad. off with two words. Made in America. <laughs> that's, what, that, that's where she was made. Judy. Judy. Hey. <laughs> Judy's a buckler. She don't fuck around, yeah, bro. She's like, bro, get off my spaghetti. Whatever you got in your mouth, keep Eat it. But leave my that spaghetti. Plate. Leave you that plate. Give me two words. You Eat have a, my spaghetti. <laughs> you two words. Don't get my spaghetti. You have the floor plans, right? Go yeah. Trump. I want to see that. Yeah, I want to see him too, actually. He said to me. Yeah, he said to me. Yeah, and actually, I had, had to redraw him last night. Yeah, like, because night? he couldn't no, believe what he paid for. Yeah, he was like, that's why he told me, he's like, you need to get into house plans. When you close the loan stuff? Or when you when do they start doing the draw and everything? Uh, we're probably going to close in the second week of January. What are you paying for? Square- Lewis, shut what? up! Hold yes, on. A- no, he, we've texted privately about like, the process. Sure. Like an so, okay. What are you paying for? What are you for a new build per square foot? Is what I'm asking. Sorry, do you have that figured out? It's not locked down yet. Okay, like, like I've priced it. I'm priced. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> He's something. I've, I've priced it stick build and with some steel. Yeah. And so it's probably going to be a steel building and then stick build the rest. I think I'm going to get into like meditation. A, like, a, like, a, like, a, like a pole barn? Guys. Yep. I don't Not know. Like I, a pole I got barn. completely I mean, like, overrun there. <laughs> what happened? Nothing. <laughs> Mike didn't talk like five minutes, so he's like, uh, I'm no, 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 no. I said something and it just got over. It just uh, got, did you hear it? It was a wave. Did you hear right it? Right over my vocals. <laughs> no. it, 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 was, it was supposed to be a random comment. It's gone. I'm, so, I'm sorry. <laughs> not funny. I'm, so, I'm not going to even say it again. Sorry we were talking. Yeah. No, no. I started talking and then a fucking tidal wave of Brett was like, <laughs> no. <laughs> it was like, no. Hold on. Yep, did, go ahead. Yeah. Did Woodburn cancel his bullshit too? <laughs> I'm looking at his name there. We yeah, he was on there. It was doing something. No, he was on there. Yeah, 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 yeah. Kick his little ass. No, I, I, dude, we need to have him in here. Oh, he wants to. That's why this green, asked him, but this green like, screen's ah. great, but I might, I might transition into just normal fucking cameras and room. No, you're not doing nothing. Stop you it. overthinking bitch. What? Yes. See him. Thank yeah, you. Look nice. you. Yeah, thank she finally. You. Thank you. Yeah. But that's just what keeps it interesting. Look, I mean, look, let me look, ask you a question. Look, 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 look at everybody. Do you get annoyed when he's like, I got to go move this shit around? Awesome like, I, I should have sat, no sat in Brent's seat tonight no. just because of my shirt. It's ridiculous. They can't hear Amanda, guys. How do you guys. live with that? How do you live they with that? They can't hear Amanda. And then he's like, I do everything. Yeah, because you put it on yourself. Oh, well, that's, oh. A, that's how she lives with him because he's just down here all the time. Bro, the room is so fucking small in comparison to the editing and stuff. That is everything. Don't get it twisted, Wes. What? This doesn't, this is nothing. This is a, I mean, that wall took one night. He's got to do a little bit of editing. We talked about what's going on at Arrow. <laughs> okay, I talked about what's going on. Oh <laughs> no, yes. man, no, no, no. It was all, we were just talking about a person. We didn't say anything about the case. No, no, no names no, 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 or nothing. No, no, no. no we, we're, talking, we were talking about his talking about about son douchebag and his douchebag sons. And he would invite but people. No names his, were said. No, 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 we didn't say any names. And it was about him inviting people in his office to take. Sh- they, they can't oh, prove well, it. They that's, can't. That's, good, uh, luck, good job proving it. Amanda, for the record, the whole time I'm like. Shut up, Wes, you little bitch. But no, bitch. no, we, we, said, we, didn't, we never said that person's name, and we just said that he would invite people into his office to do shots, and I was literally next door. This is not a missable through court. And Mike also said that he could beat up all three of his sons. <laughs> I did say that. Like, I, said, I said the I, same I, thing. I was like, if you raised probably probably not if you raised, yeah. which you weren't there, but if you raised three boys and I could kick all their asses, you fucked up. You did a terrible job. Yeah. Fucked Agreed, up. right? Three boys and you can't raise one? Well, they can one, fight, dude. The one had a ponytail in 2017, so ass kicked. Yeah, he's a nice guy though. He's just My hair very was cold. old enough for a ponytail in 2017. Yeah, Bro. but you know what he didn't do? <laughs> Put in a ponytail. <laughs> yeah, he did. <laughs> oh, Wes, didn't you? Not a pony, not, ponytail. Yeah, you're right. You're ponytail. Not, it's more like yeah. a man it bun. Like a, kind the of man bun thing. I'm sorry, I did the man bun thing. I love that man bun, dude. It was fun. That's all Jamie wanted me to do. Nice. I'm like, well, I can just cut it off and just have short hair. If you don't want to see the long hair, I'll just cut it off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Long hair is tricky, dude. Like, for some reason, a bunch of dudes get on you for it because you look a little more manly than them. 
with some long, <laughs> ha- some long hair, and they're like, "No, nah, that's 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 womanly." It's like, "No, nah, dude, everyone throughout history has had long hair." Well, he was one hundred percent gay. Listen, Wes. He went, it's I was gonna say gay. I was gonna say gay. How'd you guys know? I was gonna say you ain't good women. I was definitely gonna say gay. I was like, words. Gay in America. Gay in America. Gay in America. Oh shit! I'm listening to a book on Audible about butts. What? Yeah. What are you doing? What it's fun. <laughs> Hold on. Mike has some stupid ideas. What kind, of, what kind of butt? No, he the me idea in. was great. He the me idea like, was great. I had a great idea for a segment. Who's in but my mouth? He texts me. Oh. He had a, Wes, got an idea for a game show. Yep. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Celebrities' butts, and you have to guess who they are. Oh, I could tear That's that awesome. game up. I could tear that game up. I know. Was that real good? Celebrity tits too. Looks like you see a butt, right? That's from Except a it's all dudes. Like, like, oh, no, no, it oh, be, I, I'm still win. I still win. <laughs> so look, it could be, it could be both, right? And it's like a, ma- it's like a matchup game where you got butts on this side and and faces on this side with their names, and you have like from a movie or wherever you've seen it, their butts <laughs> on this, and you have to match them. And you all have to agree, and you got to send it, and we got to see what we got. My, right. My best part, my favorite part. My best was, part. What was your best part? My favorite part was like early in the week. I was like, "Hey, we should do this." Like, he didn't even answer. By the way, after I, I said that, you know why I didn't answer? Because he's the king of not answering anything. You send something in text message, and you don't hear anything back. And he sends well, a random, hey, this fair, is what I can a tell random you. Reddit video. You're like, fair. Oh, okay. I can tell you that none of y'all answered Brex, Brent's text earlier tonight. Yeah, <laughs> screw me up at seven fifteen. <laughs> yeah, we all missed that. It was meant for him. I don't even know what that was about. He's like, hey, Mike, Mike told yeah, me to be there. Text. He said, Mike told me to be there at 7.30, and I accidentally texted y'all and said, all right, pick me up at 7.30. I was like, he's a t- I, was like I thought you were being funny. Oh, no. Being funny, I don't know. Like, and then it was 7.16, and he wasn't in my driveway. I called, and he's like, I'm on Route 6. I went, I What an asshole, phone. right? No, I was like, I looked at oh, my okay. phone, and I went, oh, that's on me. I, I, get, I better get in the car and go. I got I to gotta see my boy Felix before he goes you to bed. You were late. You were late. I was pissed. Dude, he was riding up him? and down. He was riding up and down the yeah, highway. I got to see him right before bed, but he went, "Hey, it's Brett." So uh, he did that, do that. That made my night. Yeah, that yeah. made my whole night. He's a sweet boy, dude. Anyways, um, Amanda, no one can hear you, but we'll repeat what you say. Uh, what was the best? Like, it's gonna come to mind as soon as we say it. What was the best Christmas present you got? That's of all time. Today. Oh, wow. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? Today. Immediately. A it's saddle her bag saddle bag whiskey, whiskey holder. Yep. Saddle bag whiskey, whiskey holder. Riding a horse? Oh, dad, yes. Dad. That's legal. So, so what they do is they, f- so yeah. they fox, they fox hunt. All these people meet up and they get on these horses. You and are they, so rich. And they ride through the woods. I'm fox hunting, drinking whiskey. Yes. They, yeah, the, yeah. the thing is, you got to carry. Amanda's flask. also way cooler than you. <laughs> Speed of whiskey. Let me hit that rye over there. It is a good rye. Her sister had wow. a custom made for her. Yep. It's dude. It's Hold a heavy. On, which sister? Oh, she has a heart. Oh, he doesn't yeah. think Missy Melissa has a heart. heart. Wait, nobody knew what she said until you just did, you dickhead. What do you mean? He was talking about she... Melissa Joan Hart. Yeah, yeah. You are so dumb. <laughs> I, I don't even know how that worked out for you guys, but it did. That was pretty good. So nobody, nobody, heard said, nobody, <laughs> nobody heard her. I made a joke, and you went, dick, 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 Melissa Joan Hart. You and said, went, who made it when we just said her sister? She's this, got two of them, you cockhead. So you're gonna say, oh, one of them doesn't have has a heart? Yeah, one of them does. How did she know? Good for good for her. That was very cool. That of was her. the best gift of your life, though. Of all time. That's what. That's the one that buzz pops in her head. I mean, what about, it's, what it's whatever your, makes you most what happy. Your, what about your first horse when we were in like middle school and you and Diana Zott would go on fox hunts? Oh, Chet, boy. you son of a bitch. <laughs> oh, boy. God damn it, Chet. Oh, boy. God damn Well, you wanted me to talk more. We'll talk more. Dude, God damn you it, You know Chet. what? I could do a flashback right now of all the toys we talked about for Christmas and then a just because horse. <laughs> right. That she got. I got just because a two time. I remember nobody heard her. She was talking about, oh, uh, you brought up the horse and she said that was a just because horse. That's ridiculous. I mean, God. No, he worked his ass off. I'll no, give no, him no. that for that. Hold on. But still. That's my favorite thing about Chet. He's yeah. a hardworking motherfucker. He's always been Nobody can take it away from him. Always been hardworking. And that's why I think me and him get along, because oh, yeah? I've, I've never worked for him. <laughs> <laughs> I think he respects me for that. <laughs> he respects me for that. Shh, stop it. Dude, none of them have worked for him. What do you yeah, mean? But, but he likes me way more than those two assholes. <laughs> Chet loves me. He doesn't even know who I am. That Chet likes precisely. everybody. He's not like a... Stop it. No, Chet likes me. That's no, it. No, when, when you that's meet it. Chet, he's just kind of like, he likes everybody. Look, I don't know. It'll be hilarious. 
if he had no idea who Brent was. <laughs> and he was who? Like, Brent. <laughs> no, I know. Brent was yeah, like, I got him, Mike. I got him. That was so dumb. <laughs> <laughs> that was so stupid. <laughs> what did I say? No, Brent. <laughs> I asked. Okay. I was trying to be like, I was trying to be Chet and go, who? Yeah, and you yeah. went, Brett. <laughs> that was so stupid. It's like, he loves me so much. He's yeah, just yeah. like, no, no you're right. Yeah, I, didn't, I didn't say love, but me and you Chet, did I did. Well, me and Chet are boys, yeah, for sure. You've said it. My bad. Yeah. I love Chet. I said it. They each other, remember? He didn't have to love me, but I love Chet. I sent all lot. the clips to him. Could you imagine? That's my favorite. Could you imagine the steak dinner they actually have with each other? They keep talking about. Yeah, just oh, that too. Just him too. That's, <laughs> we can make it happen. That's all I want. We can make it happen soon. That's all I want. Okay. That's all he wants. He said, but with crab cake yeah. and and oh, the steak. Got, it's got to be surf and or turf. Yeah. I mean, he's down for that. He he's he's all about spending an uh, expensive meal that takes thirty minutes. And Chet's, gonna, Chet's gonna look me right in the eye. and Went, you're the fucking man. And you hey, guys smoke a cigarette. Yeah. 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 I will smoke Brent's a bar. Brent's gotta pay. Brent's gotta pay. I'll pay for it. And then me and Chet are gonna <laughs> <Yeah>. smoke. <laughs> Me and Chad are going to smoke a non-menthol cigarette and have a Coca-Cola, a crispy Coca-Cola together. <laughs> the coldest Coca-Cola you could ever have. Dude, I don't understand people that love Coca-Cola, but, dude. But, but he loves it, dude. He, I mean, he he should have stock way better than Coke. Huh? Whoa. Pepsi's way better than now Coke. You're, look, Whoa. I've, I've worked there for 15 years. Pepsi sucks. Yeah, dude. you better it's settle down, you golf. There. Coke is, dude. <laughs> you better, dude, I got actually pretty good at golf uh, this, you past, win. this past no, weekend. you did not. What, did you go to Top Golf? No, you did yeah. not. <laughs> Dude, those balls are engineered to make you f- hit the ball Amanda, farther. I'm going to be honest with you. I would rather golf with you than yeah, golf with my kids. 100%. You're an asshole because I made a great video of you last time. No, 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 last no. Time. You You're treated such an the, asshole. You, treated, yeah, you treated the course you like you were a asshole. fucking You're asshole. Such an asshole. What did I treat the course like? You're just literally dude. scraping your feet on the green. Yeah, you like, like, were dirty. My shoes were dirty. Dude. <laughs> My he, shoes had shit on them. He treated Britain Bay like it was a third rate bullshit. Yes. Like, like, it's not. It's not. No. <laughs> oh. I didn't give a fuck about that place. This isn't like the country club I'm used to playing at. Mike was out. Mike was out. Look, look at you guys. Mm, Mike's being a little out of hand, isn't you he? You being oh. way he's, out of hand. He's stepping on the grass a little aggressive, isn't he? Aggressive? You are moonwalking across the fucking <laughs> green. Was there was it? literally gashes in the green from Mike. Just Dude, like, I, I, <laughs> from your fucking strikes, you I bitch. Was, I was literally about ready to go, Mike, just go away in the car. Just go away in the car. <laughs> you know when Brent is like, Mike, go away in the car, you've Really you know how many times you've been out of public and I've thought that to him and I've never said it? I never like, said it. Christ, I never said it. He didn't say it to you either. I didn't say it either. No, I know, so exactly. What? We're good. Yeah. I had to just let you know, too. Like when? <laughs> Shit. I actually thought about how something. How many years? I actually saw, thought about something recently. What? Uh, one of your bands was playing at Sonar good before yeah. it closed. That's what I hear. And we watched a guy throw a glass bottle like 50 fucking yards and hit a woman. Oh. Right outside of Sonar, it was insane, and that was at that was Death by Heroes. Then the, the Battle of Bands, it was, and somebody in the band was like, the cops came and everything. Yeah, yeah I do remember that. And somebody in the band was like, like just like giving like a report to the cops, and I was fucking hammered or high or one of the two, and I was like, you're hammered. Quit snitching, you motherfucker! And the cops turned around to me and were like, do you want to be next? I went, I'm going inside. Dude, there's so many videos <laughs> now of cops jumping on people because of that of just saying stuff. Yeah, it's crazy. But anyways, but yeah, I, I remember that. I was well. I can the I first like the first eight episodes of this podcast. Mike, don't look at the time, Wes. Don't look at the time, you bitch. I was looking to see if you could see my. No, 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 no. Like you're working tomorrow. Oh, I'm going to see Avatar tomorrow. Now I we're, will we're, say, we're going when we go down to South Carolina. I will say this: I drove by your office the other day at like three or four in the afternoon. Didn't your see truck, your truck. Was still, no, his truck was still there. I was like, oh, I was like, oh, Wes is actually putting time today. Oh, Wes, you were saying something. <laughs> I was going to say the first eight episodes of this show. You wanted to tell Brent to go wait in the car? Yeah, pretty yes. much. <laughs> the, yeah, last the, first eight, the first 28. <laughs> he, he doesn't even know how much I edited. I mean, it was all because of him. I had to edit, like, just dumb shit out that he was saying that, really I knew, that I knew yeah. he'd be embarrassed of. Now, that this is good. It almost sounds like a weird mint aftertaste. Try it. It's just a rhyme. No. no. Yeah. Just try it, Amanda. Just put it in your holster. Put it in your holster. Yeah, put it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, put it in your, <laughs> put it in your whiskey holster. <laughs> That's code for... So uh, okay. Oh, I do have a funny story. <laughs> now, that I'm, now that I'm here, I do have a funny story. All right. Yeah. I said take a sip. Stop not being a, a baby, Amanda. <laughs> you're at you home. You don't house it. You're at home. You're not nursing anymore. You're hey, fine. You're, fine. you're, you're not fine. nursing anymore. What? He hasn't nursed in probably a year. Yeah. Well, hey, look. I know people that have nursed yes. on their. Yeah, their, he's right. 
I know people that have nursed on their mom and their aunt. To it is three, what it is. Oh, okay, well, that went <laughs> not where I thought it was going. Uh, who, okay. Who? Kim, not allowed to say. Did he say Kim? <laughs> he did, didn't he? He did. Hey, we'll go with Kim. He said Kim, not allowed to say. We'll go with Kim. Dude, so I went that'll, to, I, I, I went to breakfast. put it way off the trail. I don't know. You guys, everyone here loves to go to a diner for breakfast. <laughs> Fucking right, coffee dude. And stuff. It's so What's great. What's the one in La Plata? Marie's? Yes. Marie's. Choice. Yep. So I go, I go to one when we were in Pennsylvania with Felix. What was it called? I don't know. Me and Felix go in. We sit down. I get Cheap a pancakes. coffee. I start ordering him the Belgian waffles because he's going to love those and everything. So he's sitting there. We're both eating, looking around. You know, it's packed. And I see this one guy looking over. And he's like, and there's this family over here next to me. And it goes on for about uh, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. And the family starts getting up. And this waitress comes over. And uh, this guy keeps looking at me. And I notice that he's looking. And I guess he's just looking at Felix. Looking at his arm. He's missing his... his, his <laughs> You'll get that. What the fuck? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. For sure. <laughs> what the fuck? That's, what his, the fuck? that's his favorite saying. Um, so I see the guy get up and talk to the waitress. And I'm like, dude, don't do not do it. Like, I think he's like buying my breakfast or something uh-huh. like that, right? And I'm like, he thinks you're poor. No, not even that. He just kind of... He wants to do something nice for somebody. That, yeah, I don't know. He just feels... He's you look feels, homely. You look homely. Maybe. <laughs> I looked great, actually. I was dressed up nice. He looked homely. Listen to your golf. <laughs> I golf because it says it on my fucking sweater. Hey, good one. Make an obvious joke. I like it. Keep going. Yeah, okay. Good. I will. Anyways, the waitress starts walking over. I'm like, I'm not even done eating yet. And she walks to the next table. Ah. Uh, I'm like, and she, she says something to the lady. And then she walks away. It's a thing. And then the lady gets up with her daughter and they start walking <laughs> out. And then I'm like looking at the daughter. She's going out. What are you laughing at? Nothing. <laughs> <laughs> what? He's drunk. No, <laughs> let's stop with that talk. Okay, I'm sorry I'm talking longer than a minute about no, something. I was giggling about the story. I think it's but funny. But it's, it's getting somewhere. It's hilarious. Yeah, I, so, exactly. So she's walking her kid out, and I notice, I look at her kid, and her kid's missing both arms. Shut up. <laughs> so That's serious? not funny, Brent. <laughs> up to her shoulders. And you thought it was all about you. I, I, you son of a bitch. Well, hold on a second. That's I what st- I'm laughing at. I stopped them. I'm like, hey. Like, it's this weird thing. I'm, she's always been the one that's been with Felix when they saw somebody with yeah. a missing limb. Like, there was literally this rich guy that jumps out of nowhere and was like, hey! He jumped in front of her, stopped her in her tracks, and Felix was like, look! Yeah. And Felix will put his nub up. Like, he notices, and he like, they, they like nub each other, and it's like this weird thing. And uh, this guy's literally some, he was some loaded guy from, uh, what did he do? A log cabbing building guy, like he was a multi millionaire guy, whatever. Anyway, so this girl's walking out. I stopped them. I'm like, yo, I was like, he's got a missing nub, all this other stuff. And we're like talking. We exchange numbers and I and everything else. She's she's talking about this. What? I'm listening. You're pointing your hand up. No, I'm not. <laughs> it's like so must... self conscious about stories. I, I, it's I, hard I, because if you go longer than a minute, you I'm feel like you're enjoying boring. the story. What you're the fuck? We're all dude. waiting for the end and you're just like, keep stopping. See, I'm waiting They're for the punchline. For the They're waiting for the punt. There we are. There we are. Okay, hold on. Hold on. I don't see I'm the problem here. Yeah. You're rushing me. I didn't say or do anything. <laughs> hey, Russia. <laughs> Stop rushing. <laughs> it's World War Three. Anyways, so he did pay for a tab, never paid for ours, but I thought <laughs> I knew half of it. You only have to keep with the I have a guy to say that for 20 what? minutes. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? <laughs> Go, uh, we got to wait for this part. Hold on. Mike is so He mad loves right to now. draw out the laugh part. Hold on, guy. No, no, no. She's, you said she picked up her tab and not ours. I've, I said not even half of it. Yes. So. <laughs> The pro- that's not the funny part. The funny part is that that table was there way before us, and then we walk in, and my kid's missing. And like that guy was going through a dilemma. <laughs> so I pay for my, man, my man was staring at this poor girl for so long, and then out of nowhere, a guy walks in with a little boy with a missing half arm, and he's like, "What the fuck is going? Is there a convention?" <laughs> And he has a real dilemma, but he doesn't pay for both tables. He still sticks to his guts like that one. Well, how's the person with well, that's no why, arms? That's eat? why Brent said he should have paid half for yours. Yeah, I know. Half off. I know, I know. But it was just amazing, like thinking about what that poor guy went through. He's just like, dude, does he, what but, is this? On, but what does he think that people with no arms can't afford breakfast? Like, no, what no, the but, fuck? no, but some people want to do nice. Up. Some people want to do nice things. Look, there's a wall, right? If you only really had you and Amanda's tax return from last year, you ought to have been all right. He's facing the wall, and it's only that table and us. 
That's what's so funny. All he could see was her, that table, just and nubs. us. Just nubs. And I saw him staring the entire time I was there before he went to talk to the waitress. And I just know he was going through such a dilemma. And he wasn't even looking at you. He was looking at both of us. No, he was. That's what was so he funny. Was like, I can only afford one of their lunches. He only had so much <laughs> cash, dog. <laughs> he only had so much cash. I wonder how the person with no arms ate their fucking meal, though. Well, they would probably get fed from their mother or... Uh, they, they have pro- prostheses? prostheses? How old was the a good little girl? She was young. Was she? Oh, yeah. Like Felix Young or younger? She was a little older. Okay. But she was like, like probably four-ish. But that's the thing, Brad. We, I don't know. Yeah. It's, it's amazing to see. You're just like, to us, we're just like, how do I, how would I do that? How would you do it? They don't know any different. I saw a funny video. They just like do it. Like whether they eat off their plate, it's not for us to like, if they eat with their mouth, who knows? I saw a funny video on Facebook today. It was a guy that had a nub. Yeah. But he actually had the fingers that formed. They're like yep. little BBs. Yep. And That's what he is. Yep. And uh, he was like, it was always awkward when it was time to draw a turkey at Thanksgiving with your hand. <laughs> and, they, and he like was doing the smallest thing. turkey. And he pulled it up and he was like, that looks nothing like a turkey. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty with, with his, he could literally do that. Probably yeah. be like smallest little fucking yeah. thumbs up ever. <laughs> it, it was such a weird morning. That's a good story to go out on, Mike. Yep. Uh, Wes wants to be done so it's bad. He has to put all this together. And There's really I just put anything together. Do. I'm yeah, sending it as it yeah. is. Send it. I was at, I was at Cooksey's. And I saw, this guy, I saw this guy sitting in his truck over by the road. Was he eating lunch? And I went over and I, I noticed like so he had literally this cable hanging down that was like dripping liquid on the ground. And I was like, hey. And like he like rolls down his window, like his passenger window. He's on the driver's side. It's like, I'm like, hey, dude, the cable's like, it's definitely broke and you're leaking. I felt like I was doing something nice. And then I, so I pull up to the, the red light and then I turn left. Bro, I turned left. The entire side's totaled. He was just in an accident. <laughs> oh, my God. I was telling him about a cable. Oh, my God. <laughs> he thought you were being such a dick. <laughs> I said your cable. Hey, you can't park there. <laughs> oh, my that God. God. The grass. That's hey, hilarious. you can't park there. <laughs> No, that happened like weeks ago. I've been meaning to talk about it. Funny Dude, thing. it was fucked up. I drove by That's like, funny. oh shit, and never saw him again. Hey man, you're crossing the any freeze. Your cable's hanging. What now. did you say when he said that to him? He was just like, nah, did his he head. went, oh, okay. Like he literally went, oh, okay. He like was like playing it off, and then like I went to that light, and then pa- and it turned left and saw the other side, and I was like, oh shit. The whole way to work, I was like, shit. It was early. It was an early wreck. It was way too early funny. for wrecks. That's funny. So. It was a bad wreck this was it this morning or yesterday in front <laughs> yesterday in front of like uh, the elementary school right around there Southern Tire yeah yeah there yeah. was a bad one last night too did you go through six or did you just okay sorry anyways man do you want to switch seats it's never nope. anybody you want to be in an accident that's in an accident <laughs> bro I wish people would stop getting in accidents though yeah fuck them can you all relax like do you drive right bit, but I gotta pee too again it's been open you want to roll no you want it. I will say this. Okay, okay, okay. I got another thing. Yeah. Taxes, right? Fuck we all em. hate them. They're the, bullshit. The worst. I think. I, walk and if I, I actually thought about rolling on the floor. But I remember this. He has a camera on here now. You, you, Do you want me to turn you off? the whole <laughs> way <laughs> until you left the door. That would be, it'd be worth now it. Now you can go pee. Now you can go. Turn it off as soon as I go. Yep. I know him. Yeah. I know him. <laughs> go ahead. No. There's a tripwire. It might turn on your, your, your you camera. Just pee on the floor. Yeah, no, you're good. You're good. Crawl out. Just go on the floor. Yeah, yeah roll. Like, just play Joe Biden real just quick. Get, just don't be in our cameras. Talk and Go roll. low, baby. Oh, he's gonna, I know what he's Go gonna low. Do. <laughs> Go low. How bad do you have to pee? Go low. How, How bad do you want? Look, everybody knows now. How bad At do you want? At this point, everybody knows you got to pee. just sneak out and go to pee, and he's got to cross the cameras. So please go under the cameras, please. Okay. We got we to gotta uphold this. this. <laughs> he still got mine. <laughs> Very good. Very good. Oh yeah, dude, that was hilarious. Taxes. You should get your tax return on a card, and that card should be non-taxable. Still in my camera, right? Say what? You should get your tax return on a card, like, like, a, a, like a debit card. Yes, and 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 when you do use that, wherever you use, wherever you use that card, it should be non-taxable. What? What do you say? So they said, literally already uh, do that. Do they? I don't, I don't know what you were saying, though. I'm saying you should get... When, you get a like tax a, return with your money, yeah. and then you go buy stuff, and you get taxed on whatever you're buying. Yeah. 
I think you should get a car that's literally like, this is my tax return money. Uh, and don't, you're not it allowed doesn't to tax get, me. You can't tax it. I like that. Yeah. You can't tax me again for my fucking tax return. They're gonna. I know. They do. It's but bullshit. it's like, you should be able to swipe your shit and it's like, oh, no tax. I'm actually, looking, already- I'm actually looking forward to taxes this year. I have like a year of paying for a house by myself on my taxes. You should make your band a business and you and Vinny or whoever else wants to own it we go in on it. I don't play that much. Doesn't matter. You write off everything. Like, like, bro. What? I, I, well, Wes. Now that you're here, <laughs> I started Bimpressions and I had one job with Wes in a year. <laughs> but then you write off like <laughs> but I wrote square, off, square footage of your house, but, electric. Oh, uh, but I wrote off. I wrote off my computer stuff. I wrote yeah. off because of that. How do I LLC the band? To just call anybody. Dude, it costs a couple. It costs some money on uh, three hundred bucks go a on year. Zen, Zen business. Can you walk me through it? No, no, right, no, cool. no, 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 no. Go on zenbusiness.com. Yeah. I'll send you a link. Yeah. It's so straightforward. But what do you write off? Everything? Dude, water bottles. Every uh, no, ev- <laughs> every tab. That was adorable. Every tab uh, at a at a bar. Yeah. Clothes. <laughs> anytime Clothes. Any, she any, is so good. Anytime anything you, you wear. Anytime you go so see. Anytime you go see. Are you running my Dixons? <laughs> look, look. Anytime you go Dude, see a band. You, you wear it to a gig. That's work attire. Yep. Anytime you go see a band, it's 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 like a, a like research. Re- yeah, it's research. And you write off that bill while and, you're there. You, your and, cell phone bill. And you get money back off that shit? Yes. Yeah, dude. Bro, it's all deductions. So much can money. I do that between now and can I can I do the last year and look, the look, next look. couple weeks? You're so you know what? Yeah. It, it, it's it's, year, it's unreal yeah. because you paid for your mic and he hasn't written it off. Insane. I paid for this mic, all my other mics, yeah, cables. Well, that is, that's way before your band, but it has to be they that year. That. They don't know that. No, they don't, but it has to be that year. It has to be the year. If you were to get audited and they said, "Hey, where's your receipt for it?" Yeah, then you'd be like, like uh, "But that's why like, I buy what about, like my wireless system that I bought for my mic. All the, the mileage to drive into your events. All the mileage, all the gas. Oh, what the fuck? You're right, you're every, right, time, every time, every time right, you eat, I'm gonna text you. Huh? For the next year. For the next year, I'm gonna text you Dude, on Monday. I, I coach softball and I can write off all the mileage to Texas, yep. all the mileage to so the we games. Had, like I could write off like trips to Baltimore and like Glenbury. Yes, Brent. I don't know this. Write it all off. We don't have an LLC set up. I don't know this. It's dumb you, to you not. Stop at stop at Wawa, get a soda and Everything. Snickers, oh. and don't fair. don't steal it. But you, you can write that uh, shit off. I do steal that shit. <laughs> I'm a goddamn klepto. You don't have to have, You don't. If you don't have time to do LLC, you can still you can do a sole proprietor on your taxes. And you can make whoever you can make. I, yes. You can also so make. If I sit down with my HR block lady, I can do that. You can say, Hey, I started a business last year. I'm a sole yep. proprietor. Um, this is how much money I made. These are all my expenses, and you'll just have you'll take a loss for the year, bro. But you got to take losses. <laughs> you got to take losses <laughs> for three years, and then you start a new business. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know anything. Um... What's up, Chet? <laughs> What's going on, Chet? <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, yeah. Do a sole proprietor. You're not gonna have to be able to stop LLC in the next ten days. So. No, Chet's ten years in, and I I don't even oh. the taxes they pay. Sorry, no thanks. Yeah, but when you also are to that point. Figure out ways. Uh, yeah. I don't know, Wes. <sighs> I'd say any business owner. It's above my pay any, scale. Any yeah, business owner. We haven't no, a hockey game in a while. What's that's, going on the fuck? That's, that's always the thing is we're always, I'm all of us, waiting. I've always been like, how do you beat the system with taxes? Yeah. And then when Trump does it, it was like everyone po- dogpiled him. As much as I don't really like the guy now, yeah. everyone dogpiled him about yeah. beating the tax system. Yeah. Please. Like, what are you fucking talking about? That's what we all want to do. We yeah. Nobody wants to pay more taxes. You don't it's even crazy. like the cops. You don't like the government. You don't like anything about for, the And you're bitching about him not paying taxes. For 95% of Americans, taxes are the single largest expense of your entire life. Ugh. Of your entire life. Do you right? Though. I would totally Google it's that. Crazy. But that sounded so good. I'm going to leave it. It's 100% true. And you know the only reason income, ta- income tax started? I'm going to sound like Jake. Well, but Income taxes, if, whatever you buy, sales tax. Like if you add up all the taxes. Your taxes for all of us yep. in this room, 100%, are the single largest right. expense of your entire life. You're right. Easily. And especially, like, Mike likes to complain about going out and getting drinks and eating Liquor and tax. God. That liquor tax is bullshit. It's such bullshit. It's you started- pay that shit. It's your fucking Dude, place. It's a Maryland thing. Maryland's such bullshit. Well, you're, the one, yeah. you're the one pushing yeah. the drink prices through the roof. You pay that fucking shit with that. You're the one for Wes Moore. But I will say, he was on... Uh, Who's the uh, South African guy? Oh, um, 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 the guy on Comedy Central. Yeah. What the fuck is in? They took over for uh, Trevin. Yeah, Trevor, Trevor, Noah. Trevor Noah. 
Wes Moore is a charismatic guy. He's very charismatic. He's a very charismatic guy, but I still didn't vote for him. And I wouldn't again. I did. But he was a charismatic guy. Likeable, likeable guy. He's very likable. Yeah, like Obama. Yeah. You know, you I know think Obama's like Obama. a likable guy. We could get into I didn't why I didn't stuff. vote for Cox, but I'm not, I don't want to talk yeah, about well, it. Yeah, well, I like what Kelly Schultz say? anyways, but huh? I mean, I like Dixon the, the women that ran, but... <laughs> <laughs> Look, I don't like Cox like any other guy. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Vote no I on ain't Cox. for him. That guy was, you think Donald Trump's crazy. Cox, not good. Not good. So what do you think about selling your catalog, if you're Justin Bieber, for $200 million? Sold. No. I, no, think, no. I think it's a pretty de- a decent deal, dude. Dude, no. sold. You don't know where the market goes. When was the last time he had a hit? 2017? Every mil. time he puts out a record, it's a hit. Do people sell their? He's been barely talking now. He the paradigm in the face. Oh my god! Yeah, one hundred percent. It's a temporary thing. It happens it's from all the, time. the COVID shot. Relax. Uh, okay, it's not from the COVID <laughs> shot, but that's different. Apparently, it's something that happens a lot. To people, it was that people who fly that it happens. Paralysis. It's something that happens when you're at that high and in the, in all the time. His eye doesn't, tell, his eye doesn't know where he's at. Justin Bieber flew more than anybody ever, but it's all, common for people who fly a lot. Is it though? Because I, I mean, every NFL team flies every fucking weekend. Not a bunch of guys going. I can't feel my faith. When I'm with you, <laughs> but I love it. We need Wes just to tack on songs. Yeah, whenever yeah. we, whenever we say something that's in a song. And oh we, we, and look, we have a, a little piano that goes on when he starts I'm a, singing. I'm a Bieber fan. If I'm him, I'm selling that catalog, and I'm Same. never doing 200 anything million. ever again. It's fine. 200 million is great. It's a fifth of a billion. He's already done. made 200 million dollars in his career. And you write that's more. What I'm well, then he's done. But you write so more. That's, that's over his whole career, right? Like how long is that? Wasn't now Jermaine just Dupree got... pimping him out at like 12? I and mean, what do you say? Yeah. And now he just got 200 million right now. Bam. Exactly. Bam. Boom. Now he's got 400 million. Yeah. Right. And he can still and write, write songs out of his. Exactly. Yeah. Right. What, he's going to wait on streams? Right. He got over the that's, droopy face. Let's go, dog. That's the same thing in the lottery where they got to take that now instead of waiting right, for it. Right. Exactly. That's why it's like, sell that shit. You're right. 200 million? That's like the... He what's a, what's the highest catalog in sell? four or five years? Ramsey Hunt syndrome is what he had, and it's just like shingles. It's the virus that stays in your body. After you have chicken pox, it stays in there, and it'll just pop up. Oh, wow. Like people that have shingles. Like I've had, chi- I've had a shingles outbreak before. Really? Yeah. What are you, like 60? Dude. Three, I, slept, I slept in a freaking airport floor in Miami. A week later, I had you, shingles. It was weird. You are gross. Get out of my fucking yeah, house. Yeah, let's time you know to the, go. You know I have the, enough you, shingles on my roof. You know the worst part about shingles? <laughs> What's that? I didn't realize this until you go when get the insurance medicine for The same medicine that they give you for shingles. Herpes. Herpes medicine. Valtrex. They give yeah. you Valtrex. Get out of my house. Like, they thought I had herpes. Get out of yeah. my seat. I was, this was, I was like 29, 30. And I went to go get herpes medicine. You got shingles at... 30? You gotta get it. You gotta go. You gotta get out of my ass. Get out of my seat. (laughs) Yeah. No, but I I, I did uh, know that. that I'm water, though. That's hilarious. Amanda sent a hilarious text earlier at nine. She said, still potting, casting. Potting, casting? (laughs) She said, still potting, question mark. And then the next text, casting, question mark. (laughs) She's had a few glasses, ladies (laughs) and gentlemen. Bro, you drink that gin again. <laughs> so she called. She called us pussies one time because she she started off the show and then then puked all night long, and then took the ninety nines with us, and then she walks uh, out going pussies. That was my favorite episode. They started like, off this with isn't two even words. that bad. You guys are pussies. And then she walked Made out in America. <laughs> Tastes fine. Until you went to you know bed. What? I'll be honest. That comes out like the perfect times. That's hilarious. <laughs> until you went to bed, you couldn't handle it. Yeah. Yes. I walked upstairs. It, it was like a tornado came through the house. <laughs> I was like, why is that there? Why is that there? Why is that there? I get up into his room. Door's wide open. Why are you in there's, the bathroom? There's the sound machine going. And there's this shit on the ground. Felix is not even in the bed. In his crib. <laughs> yeah. And so I, I go. In, I finally am like, well, he's obviously in our bed. I go into our room. I look on the bed. A man is like sideways on the bed. Felix is sideways on the pillow. It's a mess. <laughs> And All she called 99. Yep. She had one. No, did she have two? She had one ninety nine. Yeah. And then she was just drinking. Yeah, she had other drinks too. No, she was drinking those like those uh, those devil's backbone like high boys. So but, like, Amanda went to a doctor today and she got asked what about drinks? <laughs> What'd you get asked? How many drinks she has a week or something like that? <laughs> Enough. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> 200? <laughs> so they, what did you say? Oh, they, what did you asked, say? they asked her how many times in the past year she had more than four so drinks in one day. Yeah. And Amanda just laughed. She said, uh, five? Oh, my <laughs> God. Last week? Yeah. Oh, my 
streak. Five. I mean, that, that's a sign when they're like, "Hey, about like that." I always took that with like cigarettes. Yeah. Do you guys do you smoke? That's like the first thing they ask you. And I'm like, "Well, that's bad." When I'm smoking like a, a pack. Amanda. Five-ish. five-ish days a week. <laughs> yeah. Five-ish. Hundred. Yeah. 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 Five-ish. If you would have said like uh, half the year. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Definitely less days than a. Yeah. Yeah. That's fine. Uh, I don't know. Drinking's fun, but it yeah. is. Poison. I don't usually drink like that on Tuesdays. <laughs> no. Dude. Like a whole year or just. Yeah, yeah. Are we, are we talking about like the last week? What's going on? Yeah. Five ish? Sure. Yeah, when the bar, when, when we got that Bartesian, it was out of control for a couple of weeks. That, <laughs> it makes the drinks for you. Dude. <laughs> Which, there you go. That one of them? It makes you drink. Is that a Negroni? The Negroni. I love the Negroni. That's what I had earlier. Oh, so old fashioned? Tight. Well, I guess I'll just you could take a sip of this. Wes, you can leave whenever, dog. I am going to leave whenever. I'm probably get like two or three. Okay, later. okay. We got to think of something really Listen. good to end with. Well, let me go ask ahead, you guys go, go this go question. Ahead. So, uh, two weeks ago, uh, my friend Jackson Dean had the number one song on country radio. Uh, At the never same time, I know he's- my buddy Ben Fuller had the number one song on Christian radio. Yep. Now, we understand how the music business works. Like, mm-hmm. the record label decides who's going to be number one. They, it, it, they yeah. pay, they play that game yep. back and forth, and they, they fun- buy number one for a certain amount of weeks, blah, blah, blah. Because it might pay off, it might not. Yeah, but at the same time, that person or that band, whichever, has to go out and they got to play concerts and they got to back it up. Yeah, absolutely. And it kind of made me compare it to guys who take steroids and still got to hit home runs. Yeah. Like, yeah, you you have an advantage, but you still have to hit the, the ball. The ball has Dude, to still hit the bat, bro. I'm a thousand percent for them taking fucking enhancements. Me too. Like that shit. Me too. Whatever you got to do. I want to see the best of the best. I, yeah. They're fucking ruining their, their, their insides. I'm the they're going to die earlier. They're, they're risking it all just to be that guy. They want to burn out fast. I want every linebacker to be Bill Romanowski, and I want them out for blood. <laughs> Absolutely. I want, Send it. I want... <laughs> Yeah, I think what, I want, what's, the fracture, what's the fracture Cushing. that breaks through the skin? We're the testing. Compound. Compound. Yeah. I want compound fractures on Sundays, we're testing, bro. We're testing them. MMA fighters, fucking yeah, send dude, it. Get, I want to see big dudes crushing get, each other and thinking they're gods. I want your head to grow like Barry Bonds. I don't want you to have a neck. I want you to rip <laughs> shit apart. Yes. What'd you say, Amanda? Yes. Exactly. Thank you. That's, that's, worth, that's worth $70. Spartacus. A pay-per-view. Spartacus. Yeah. Straight up glad. By the way, Patty the Batty did not win that fight. I don't care what no, that he did fucking, not. Did fucking, you watched that? Yeah, I did. Where'd you see that at? On my phone. Okay. Yeah. Watch, I, watch I, wrestling.live. I watched it live, and I went to go pee when they were about to do the announcements because I was like, all right, so I-, I Two I, weeks ago. I saw the fight, and I'm like, all right. That sucks. He, I mean, he lost. He got his ass. I, I go to take a pee, and I'm literally peeing, and I hear- uh, Patty, and I was my mouth just dropped while yeah. I was being. I couldn't. I like hurried up and I ran back. I, I was like, they just stole that. I don't I care was, what Dana White says. He had a hand in they that. They stole that. He had a hand in that. It shit. was I amazing. Don't he does. I don't think he does. Bullshit. No, no, no. On that did. one, he did. I think it's all commission. No, no, no. no. Dude, I think ahead of time. There's nobody else. There's no other big stars but Patty right I, now. I think ahead they of time. Can't lose. I think ahead of time. Yeah, he has a talk. I think they, 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 they have shit together. But they want the damage though. They're, Dude, they're starting to lean towards who did the most yeah. damage, not the control, not because you had him against the fence, not because you had him on the ground. Yeah. More. If it's Patty more, lost it's the that fight, and Patty the did a lot of damage. Done for six months. Patty did a lot of damage. I'm actually upset that the flat earther guy lost. He oh, oh, got but, destroyed. But apparently, he had flu the night before. That what show, it came out. He had flu the night you, you, before. The, dude, mother, the motherfucker that was like, "Where's my camo shorts?" Yeah, that guy. Yeah. And he got fuck him. him. And he got camo shorts added oh, to. He the, got him. The and then shirt. he got choked the fuck out. And the guy no, that no, choked no. the fuck him out is awesome. He was choked the fuck him guy's, out. The guy is scary. I said it like that. <laughs> He didn't Took just get. He out. didn't just get choked up. He got beat up. Yeah. No, he, was he got getting, beat. That, he was a he was a boy amongst was men great. in that it fight. It was great to watch because yeah. you were just like, this guy's so good. He's getting his ass beat though. I, I'm willing to die for my freedom in Arkansas. And the problem like, was what, that dude, guy. That relax. guy. Dude, I wish I could remember the names right now, but it's not working. But the guy that beat uh, his ass. Yeah. Was talking shit to Patty the whole time because yeah. he slapped Patty one time like in an airport or at a at, at a at a I don't know somewhere. He wasn't even worried about this guy. That's the problem. Yeah. He's like, wasn't even worried about him. And it, he was, goes, it was Ilya Toporia and Tuporia. Bryce Mitchell. Yep, Bryce Mitchell. Yes. Okay, so Bryce Mitchell and them, are, they're, they're Tuporia sitting. Toporia 
ragged him. Taporia is like a problem. He's coming, bro. I can't wait to watch him fight the next that fight. That sounded so stupid. I'm going to punch myself in the whole face. <laughs> He's, He's coming, coming bro. bro. Like, I know UFC fighters. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I thought I'm, we were I'm, all I'm, watching a porn together for a second <laughs> back in the, gr- in the basement. With our pillows covering each other. He's coming so hard. He's coming so hard, guys. <laughs> Not mine. He's still going. <laughs> Better be hard, too. You want to come sit here? Nobody. You hear that? Go drink a Coke. We we I, I used to um I used Amanda clip one time on one of early episodes and you guys like were like mind blown at by, like the Baltimore accent that oh, came out. Oh, she's got one. She's Han. It was Full. crazy. She's been saying Coke since we were seven, <laughs> yeah. since we were twelve years old. Let's I, go, O's. I, I didn't even notice it actually. My, my chat likes to drink Coke. Get some weird. old bag on that. You know, we need to <laughs> trade two first rounders. Go get Joe Flacco. <laughs> <laughs> Keep going. Uh, so, so mean. It's, not, it's not safe to go down to the harbor anymore, Han. <laughs> hey, Han. Get some old bag on that. Fucking Orioles, Han. <laughs> All right. How you lose to the Browns? <laughs> Dude, that video of you watching the Miami lose was so Dude, it was so good. I was so drunk. All right. So uh, we will see you guys next year sometime. Yeah. Hopefully. Maybe before next year. Maybe we'll come Mike's back next year. so bitter. He's got he's to actually edit this now. No, nah. I'm not editing nothing. Fuck it. Out the Full door, send. dog. Out the dog, brother. <laughs> brother. <laughs> He laughs, dude. <laughs> that video is dude. like my favorite video ever. Sorry. One. Uh, the one I did at the Christmas with him at, the, at Jake's house. Bye. Yeah. Bye. Adios, everybody. <laughs> Everyone, watch. go watch the Christmas episode. and Merry Christmas. And Merry Christmas. The outro was supposed to be over top of that. Oh, my gosh. Everything's a mess. Oh, it's a fucking mess. Look at Wes looking back. We're leaving uh, it. We're fucking leaving it. <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> We're leaving it. We're leaving it. You guys don't know how it works. It's the